Oh, I got to shut that down. Where are you? There you are. Shut that down. We are live in the room podcast. Uh, and Eddie George is already up. Just started. First round. First fight of the night. Eddie George is up against Frank. What's his last name? I can't even see it. Um, something. Mazika. Mazika. There something you go. Like that. Uh, everyone's in the house. I got to share this. Hopefully, you can see this at home. Because uh, something said something about my... Uh, my stream but it seems like it's working seems like it's working we're on all right people share this we're good yeah we're good looks like we're good my man <laughs> are you moving kelts in the house from regiment training center <laughs> all right i'm gonna share this hey um Lars, why don't you talk a little bit about um what's going on over there while i share this everywhere with the action with eddie and uh this dude. Yeah. First action in New England in uh, almost 10 months. So it's pretty cool to see some fights here. Uh, Eddie George making a second pro appearance with a beautiful flowing that. mullet. Yeah. He, that, gorgeous. Th he's very proud of that mullet, man. Ooh. Fights out of FAA in Connecticut, Nick Newell's gym. Um, that's one of Nick Newell's prodigies right there. This kid I've been watching since he's an amateur. I sure, I'm sure you are. Uh, you um, you were at the cage side for some of his fights, right, Lars? Maybe one. Yeah, I, I remember the, at the beginning of his career, he lost some fights early on in his amateur career. But I had seen like this kid was good. He's just fighting really good competition. Then he started to put it together towards the end of his amateur career, and it's rolled into his his pro career. So he's improved quite a bit since uh since his, you know he first started fighting. But he's taking it to the zipper right now, and just volume upon volume. Yeah, that kid could take a punch, though. He's taking a, a lot of left hands, and he's still in there. Um, looking a little tired. Eddie has slowed down a little bit because I threw a lot of threw a lot of punches. Yeah. You're getting a lot of looking like uh, Woody Harrelson Ooh. from Kingpin. <laughs> was it? Kingpin? Oh, was that's hair. it. Ooh. That is it. That's over. Eddie it's George over. ends it, puts a hurting Eddie on this look kid. Look wow. Look look Big look performance by Eddie George. This was um his um debut, correct, Frank? I think no, it was, second fight. Was it a second fight? Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. He looked good, man. He just yeah. he just throws volume. Yeah. Awesome. Look, that doesn't look bad. No, not at all. You're looking good right there, Kels, huh? I know, bro. Bump that shit too. <laughs> Got the Miller lights in the house, yeah, some uh, fireball, some extra collective activities outside if we ever get away from them right. here. Uh, if there is an intermission tonight, we will run outside for five minutes, Laj. You might have to take over the show while we're gone, if yeah. that's okay. We'll do that. Uh, Laj, can you see the show from where you are? Uh, let me check. Tell me uh, what you're thinking. <laughs> you beat that ass quick yeah we're good we're live it looks good though right not bad i got yeah. the fight caught up there did a little graphics on my own a little on my a little on my android i gotta give lars credit for the whole template here and uh putting all this uh good stuff together that you're seeing live right now man thank you lars for for giving us some, giving us some bling to the room podcast yeah, you, know, you can put lipstick on a pig, and that's kind of what we've done with you. <laughs> can you change my voice? But uh, can you can you fix that? <laughs> um, a little thing, a little here. Uh, Nick Newell is in the cage with with Eddie, and Nick is fighting for Bellator on the 29th of October, I do believe. He was training with um, Greg Rebello today or yesterday. Because as we know, Nick is in town. He's in Warwick, and that's where Greg Rebello's gym is in Warwick. So I'm sure a bunch of these guys were cutting weight and getting, uh, you know, getting in some glove work with, uh, with ribs. That was a quick one. Yeah, very quick. Very quick. Hey, everyone out there, share this. Uh, invite people to our page. Let's get New England MMA out there. Let's do it, man. We got a ton of interviews, a ton of write-ups. We have. Uh, the whole fight card, the whole fight card breakdown, um, everything. We're going to have shit after this. Maybe a fighter will call in tonight uh, when they get their hand raised. Eddie George, you hear us? You want to call in? <laughs> yeah, for real. You look that ass quick. So awesome. You, you ain't tired. Him up. Um, 
Antonio Rivera, man, how you doing, bro? Uh, we got to give a little shout out to Travis. He's having some internet problems in Maine. It's always Maine. It's always the dudes and ladies in Maine that call here that have internet problems. What's the What's the problem, Laz? It doesn't look like you have any problems up in Maine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't live as far into the woods as Travis does, but uh, yeah, sometimes you know you, you live up here in the sticks. Uh, you got to deal with some of those things, but it's it's worth the trade off. Joe Lozon is commentating the fights tonight with Michael Parenti, the voice of CS MMA Boxing and CSA, CSA, CES MMA. I'm, I'm, you know, I've already, you I'm already six deep. I'm sorry. Uh, Joe looks, Joe looks good. I've never seen him in a button-up shirt before. I'm so glad it's not black like Joe Rogan, man. I would have thrown up all over the fucking uh, desktop. That's all it has is a black shirt. Hey. Put like a, That's a polo thing, man. logo on it, Adidas, uh, 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 something. Put a button on a, it. A button. A, a little clip, a little poly something. pin. Something. something. Where's Ken Moy when you need him? Ken Moy needs to get all over Joe Rogan. Um, they are showing the Crown Royal. Is that the what's the name of it? The Crown Plaza. Uh, <laughs> might as well be Crown Royal. Royal. The Crown, Crown Royal, Royal Plaza. Drink. That's a, that's the, one I drink. <laughs> I, too many. Shout out to Chris Martino. Oh, Chris Martino. <laughs> Chris Martino. Yeah, too. fighting Boy, tonight. He is back. He is back. Ooh. And he's under the regiment training center yes, he is. flag yes, now, he is. man. How, is, how long has Chris been training with you guys? For a couple of months now. For, well, actually, for a few months. More than a couple. For a minute now. And, um,. Uh, yeah, he's gonna, he, he, you know, he's something special. Oh, he is a, he a is beast. He's had some bad luck with some fights, man, in the past. Well, you know, hey, uh, but you know, he always had them tough fights. Of course. He, so you know, but like you know, he's gonna pull through tonight. Oh yeah, he's fighting. Um, who's he fighting? A tough dude. A loser. Oh, a loser tonight. <laughs> a loser tonight. <laughs> uh, we have we have Connor Matthews coming in. Um, number number ten ranked. Oh, oh. New England MMA. Featherweight? Featherweight, And yep. he's fighting, Featherweight. At, uh, fighting at uh, 150 pounds tonight, I do believe. Josh Merrick. Josh Marr. Mara um, coming Atlanta, in. Georgia. Excellent. Really good dude. Jo ball. Josh, I've been following online since um, I saw the matchup. And uh, he's a really nice guy, man. And he's really psyched about being able to get out there and fight for CES, man. So um, he's coming off a big win. He's running off a high. So this is going to be fireworks here. We don't know what to expect. Yeah, you know, Connor Matthews, uh, kid's a stud, uh, 2-0, I believe. Um, this will be his toughest test yet, but, um, you know, training at Lowe's on MMA, you know, he's surrounded by killers, so uh, he's definitely the favorite here. Excellent. Uh, for all people out there, please follow New England MMA on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, go see us on NewEnglandMMA.org on the web. Uh, we got everything you need there. And all the information. The live results fight. going right now on the website. Yeah, we got we got everything going on. So, um, and Travis is home right now. I I don't even see Travis on our feed right now. Let me see. Let me get on my personal page. Uh, Blaine Shot is uh he he's always jumping on the show right now. One of our personal favorite fighters in the last. Blaine, uh, what's up, brother? Yes, the CES MMA flyweight champion. Somebody is revving a, a dragster in the back over there. You hear that? Some guy's got some friggin' things yeah, back there. Again. Some toys yeah. back there, my man. Here we go. Uh, Jake Manini. Big dude. Big yeah, uh, Muay Thai yeah, coach from yeah, Hard Knocks Muay Thai. Um, we'll be in those arms a lot. Yeah. I wonder what Joe is going through right now. He's commentating the fight. He has one of his special young talents, 2-0. Connor Matthews. How does he keep it all together? I think, you I know, mean, he, I mean, he's very professional with it, so I think he, he already knows what, what Connor's going to do. You know, Connor knows what he has to do, so he's got to go head on in there and just showcase it and whatnot, and Joe's going to play his part. Nice. Nicely said, my man. Um, I ain't sh I'm sharing this, like, all over the place. I might get banned tonight because I am... <laughs> I, I'm sharing this feed everywhere, man. Fucking everywhere. Look at him. We are not going to show any of the fights tonight. If you want to see fights, if you want to see little clips here, go on Facebook later. They'll be all over. Check the CES page. They'll have a lot of friggin' nice clips later on. And, um, you know, check that shit out. 
kind of looking like Spartacus in there. Yeah, he's just a he's Adonis, isn't he? Always comes in good shape. This kid, not so much. Um, but uh, Connor's connor has got all the tools to to make some waves at the next level. Here we go. First round coming up. Out of COVID. And as we know, Khan has been training through this whole COVID ordeal. He had the fight farm. He got that together. Dudes were going to train over there, here and there. He ran into Pat McCronin over there. Matt, Pat was doing some work over there. He sees the yeah, he sees the fucking uh, he sees the mats and everything. And then Khan is over there rolling with a bunch of he's like, what's going on over right, here? Right <laughs> so here we go. Uh, start of this fight right now. Josh um, Mara against Connor Matthews. Matthews, the controller. Has the fight started? You guys might be a little bit ahead of me. Uh, no, it hasn't started yet. They're still okay. uh, roaming around the cage. Richie Santiago is watching. Andrew Valdina. Uh, Blaine Shutt wants to see himself in that cage. Blaine, we want to see you in a cage, but we want to get that fight for you. <laughs> we want to get we're, you. We're, we're doing some work. Yeah, we're, we're working on you, Blaine. Oh, my God. Look at it. Oh, awesome. Right, Alan Lau. Alan Lau in He's the CS cage, man. Here we go. go. Round one. Oh. Connor and Josh Mayer going. Let's go. Feeling each other out. Connor, throw that, throw that push kick. Throwing the feints. Yep. Feints. Josh looking good. Oh, Try, oh nice. Kick. Nice, nice teeth. Uh, oh, oh, nice oh, left. Oh, Connor oh, drops him with a left. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's hanging in, but Connor might choke him out. Connor just dropped him with a left. He has Josh's back. He's, oh, he's laying he's, leather he's, on him oh, right now the against the cage. Josh does not want to be in here right now. Josh Trans. He's looking for a way out. Oh, 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 Travis. Uh, Travis. Oh, oh, my God. Matthews is just manhandling him. Oh. He has his back, has his hooks in, and he's... uh. He's rolling yeah. him over. He's just yeah. going to ground him and pound him here until uh, something opens up, either a choke. And there it is. He's got a... Does he got it on the chin? Kind of yeah. my dad. Oh, that's oh, it. Yeah, over. Fight over. Fight over. That's yeah. over. Kinda, by Connor Matthews. Kind of rear naked choke. Total is. domination and total animal. Ballistic. Ballistic. <laughs> animal. I say, boy, Joe Jesus. I told you Joe was going to just chill. On a mission. I would love to hear what Joe was saying through that fight. I can't hear it right now because uh, I don't want to get thrown off Facebook. But um, I'm sure Joe is... <laughs> He's uh, jumping for joy over there, but trying to keep it cool. No, it's about what we expected. Um, he's now three and zero. He's, you know, starting to step up his level of competition, and he's got uh, he's got a shot, oh, man. Like the kid, kid looks oh, good. Hey, I mean, hey, from hey, what hey. we've seen from him in three fights, he looks fucking good. Awesome. He's just an athlete now. He's a fighter. That's that's his. Uh, he's a full time fighter now. No other job. Just fighting and training people and giving uh you know sessions and stuff like that. So he's living and breathing this shit right now, man. Dude got paid to get his ass whooped tonight. <laughs> he flew in for a couple. He flew, <laughs> in, flew for in for he flew in for a got Wednesday. Hotel, and we talked we talked about this with Mitch and Connor about how these guys are just coming in to get lose yeah, and fly yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, for and, real. You can't you can't go nowhere. So what, what better place to go? Exactly. Go ahead on, come down. Congratulations, yeah. Connor Matthews. One KO, two submissions, three wins, um, and his first fight out of COVID. Hey, right, let me ask you a question, Lars. With some of these local guys fighting tonight, will our rankings change at all? Will we move them around a little bit? I know it's not fair, but if in times like these, only a percentage of these fighters are going to get fights in the next few months. You know what I mean? Yeah, actually, Travis and I were talking about this yesterday, and I think it makes sense to have another pro rankings done for the beginning of the year, for January. So that will allow CES to get a few more cards in, get some more guys active in the pro ranks, and we'll plan on doing the voting and stuff in December for an early January release of new pro rankings. The amateur rankings probably doesn't make sense to, to touch those at this point yeah. since pretty much nobody's been active, so... First quarter, January, early January, we'll be, we'll be putting out another rankings. Awesome. 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 Um, glad to hear another vote, another, um, you know, a, lo a lot more chatter. You, we know how successful our first rankings coming out were. Um, and yep. they're still being used by, you know, whatever promotions can use them because there's not much going on around the New England area. But, 
you know that we're getting Bellator, we're getting um, all these other promotions checking our rankings and checking our New England fighters because we're getting a lot of talent to uh, some of these promotions, right, Lars? Yeah, you know, we're getting calls. Um, well, here's what I'd say. Right now, a lot of these promotions kind of have a, a pick of who they want to work with in terms of fighters. There's a ton of fighters who want to get active. There's very few promotions who are actually putting on shows. Uh, there was a stat that I think I mentioned to you guys the other day where uh, from September 29th to March 2019 to September 2019, there were 5,500 uh, 5, MMA fights in the U.S. last year. Same time period this year, there's been 850. So, obviously, not a lot of opportunities for guys to get active. Um, but so it, it takes some effort to get out there and get guys fights. Um, you just can't sit around and wait for offers to come to you. It's not not, not going to happen. You got to stay in front of these promotions and continue to push guys in order to keep them kind of at the top of the email or the top of the text, wherever it may be. Uh, but yeah, we, we've, um, you know, it's. You got to keep these guys active in some way, but in, in the same sense, you don't want to be too impatient and take a fight you shouldn't. Uh, so it's a, it's a delicate balancing act at this point. Excellent. And uh, fighters are evolving. They, they, you know, they, they're being made to use their minds a lot more and self promote and self manage themselves because there's not much out there. You know, before there was promotions uh, calling these fighters off the hook to get them work. Now the fighters have to call the promotions off the hook to, you know, to get some work. And, you know, none of our amateurs, right. none of our amateurs are getting, you know, any better, any cage time. I mean, they're getting better in the gyms because we know everyone's, what's going on? Uh, New England MMA. It's on Facebook. Just punch in New England MMA. There's two of them. There's a group page and a, a podcast or media page also. Awesome. So here we go. Matt Almy against Mitch. Killer Mitch. Yo! Here we go. Killer, Killer Mitch. Co-main Mitch. <laughs> Killer awesome. Co-main. So Matt Almy, we know all about this dude. This is, I believe, his third fight for CES. I think his fourth fight in New England. Fought uh, Tateki Matsuda. Fought Johnny Lopez. Fought um, Richie Santiago. And now he's fighting Mitch Raposa. This guy fights only beasts. He's had some success. He um he made it to, you know, he beat Richie Santiago. And, uh, you know, as we say, a fluke or, you know, it's not going to happen, you know, maybe one out of ten times something like that happens. Uh, not to take anything away, Matt Almy, but I'm just talking about how how good Richie Santiago is. Um, but we now we get to see what Mitch can do to this guy. We, yeah, look. This is gonna tell, uh, have a meter on where Mitch stands in this. Uh, one thirty pounds. I mean, he's fought at one thirty five as a pro. No. Wanted to go down to one twenty five. This dude was eating hamburgers, couldn't do it. Mitch said, "All right, man, one thirty doesn't matter. I'll go to one forty. I'll still get my hand raised." So Mitch is very confident, and I believe we're gonna see the same thing that we, we saw out of Connor Matthews. We're look gonna at see that boy. Look at, look at that nonstop stuff, bro, pressure. Right yeah, look he's at, just ready to go. Bro. Look at him, bro. He's just ready. Who is in this corner tonight? That is Tommy Texera, and that is Brian Rap Raposa. Awesome. He rap. Guys coming fresh from Fight Island with uh Jorgen. Jorgen. These guys were, you know, doing double Let's go, duel. Baby. Here go, Mitch taking. The wall. might you be a little bit loud. That's all right, man. That's why you're here, brother. This is your this is your man right here. You've been with this kid since he was hitting puberty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, baby. The hair is on point as always, Mitch. Love it. Right? You know what I'm saying? You ready? Now that CES cage, uh, Lars, is that the same cage that they were using at Twin Rivers? Is this something smaller? Is this the same one? Do you know anything about that? Yeah, it's the same cage they've had. Yeah. Now we talked today. It's, about, uh, we talked today about the weather. They are fighting outside, I do believe, under a tent. Yeah, they are. Um, and I'm yeah, sure, yeah. Which I'm, I was a little surprised about. I thought they'd be in a, a hall of some sort, but no. Push the MMA outside in the back. They are COVID. They are COVID. <laughs> Dangerous. Oh man. <laughs> <That's down laughs> boy. Let's go, baby. Hey, a lot of people are watching. Hey. Randy Delgado, Curtis, Kurt Parisi, my man, brother. 
Love you, bro. We got to get together when I heal up and I can defend myself again at a bar. Um, Justin Smith out of... <laughs> Do you know what happened to me? No. Yeah, I know. James. Not only did I get right. beat up, go I, got, I got thrown off an overpass 30 yeah. feet too. Did you dirty? Did me dirty. Did Tried to get rid of my body. That's what they so, did. Like I said, man, <laughs> when, you, when, you get, when you get that rivery back, man, just hit me up. You know, we, Dude, we, I have... We I, listen, detectives have uh, things going well, on right now. Know. But, listen, we would have already stepped up on them, but right. we need the authorities to do the right thing first to see if they do the right thing. And then if they don't, I'll be calling you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. We just lost a ton of people here because I'm going <laughs> to... No, you know why we lost them? Because everyone's watching Fight Pass right now and watching Mitch Raposo. Let's go, people baby. will come back after he, uh, after this. Look at him. Look, look at, at him. him, man. For real, man. Look at, look, look, look at that dude, bro. Dude, look at him, bro. Look at him. Shining so much I had to put my glasses in this Mitch Raposo. Why don't they have Killer Mitch there? You know what? Because you know what? They, you know, they ain't asked me for my permission <laughs> if they can put that shit that in. That's copyright. Yeah, you know I mean, that's copyright, man. Killer Mitch. All right, here we go, man, man. Killer you Cobain. are going to talk this fight. Man. You are going to talk us through you. this fight, brother. I got you. Here we go. All right. My little man come out there, filling him out, filling him out, throwing the jab, switching up. All right, doing a little faint. All right. Uh, uh. Is anybody getting his ass? He just uh, makes me want to move too, oh just yeah. the way you know. Gonna see what is he biting on, what is he gonna do, how he's moving. Watch out for that spinning, lucky kick he's got. <laughs> oh, don't worry, oh man, stay moving, stay composed. Oh, nice, nice, see nice see right that? by see Mitch. That right? See that fast quick, right there, bro. Mitch, look, look Mitch, close right. the distance real yeah. quick. A one-two, and so and now he's gonna go ahead and throw more feints. You're gonna fill him out, walk him down. Throw him in feints, back him up, you know, probably throw a little leg kick in there, you know what I'm saying? Get him to get his mind right, you know, because that meat's sticking out there. Yeah, he's got he's to hit that oh, leg. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Bitch. All right. All right. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Kick that leg, Mitch. Kick that leg. Out. Kick that leg, man. Yeah, Kick that you leg. You see that meat? You see the meat out there? You see that meat? What do you guys call it at the smokers? I call it meat. <laughs> Oh, Mitch with yeah, that baby. big overhand All misses, right, but... Keep your hands up. Okay, so now he's yep. going to kick at... So now the corner is kicking at the feet. Now he's got his hands down. The wrong thing you want to do with Killer Mitch. You do not want to put your hands down. You do not want to look like, you know what I'm saying, you look at what he do because you're going to sleep. And it's going to happen. It's going to really happen. No See, happen. Mitch, Mitch is uh, closing the distance. He's just missing. Uh, he's got a... He doesn't want to take him down, but he's got a, no, he's he got wants, shots there to pick him want, up and drop him wants, on his head. He wants to knock him out. He wants to make a statement. Now, if he has to, he will. But other than that, no. It's lights out. He, he's comfortable in there right out. now. You're going to put you out. You want yeah, to you can tell. Out. He's... he's we yeah, we're good, bro. Now they throw some good leg kicks. We're good. You just throw some leg kicks, we'll be all right. Yeah, I want to see a leg kick. At least one something. He just want to put the hands of God on him. Oh, yeah, you see yeah that? that big right you hand he's looking for. Rich is looking for that okay, big right hand. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it. Let's but he's not it, telegraphing Let's it. I mean, he's setting it up. Let's but get it, I like to see a kick, Mitch. Throw it, you know, set a, set a kick up or something. Mix it up right now. He's going to do a little bit for you. <laughs> he's going to do a little bit for you. He's here you at right now, bro. Uh -uh, oh, bitch. close to the distance. Uh, yeah, Almy, Almy just covers up when Mitch comes in. He's He's... You know, he's going to absor absorb them blows. So I don't know what he's looking for here. His man told him about it. His man That's felt right. the power. So he don't want to feel that shit. Let's two, go, baby. Two minutes, 14 seconds left in the first round. And he's leading and he's dropping. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh-uh. Nope. Let's get it. Let's Almy get tries another. Ass. Mitch has got that nice Let's one, too, man. Ass. He's just missing that right hand, but. He's going to catch it. He just. Throw some leg kicks, get him off his shit. You know what I mean? Keep throwing them feints. Switching the position, switching the stance. Almy hasn't done anything. I he's mean, he's just dancing around, man. He's not going to do anything. He'll do nothing all night. He'll do nothing but let my man do what he does. Oh, does. Mitch connects. Yeah, shit? Mitch connects Mitch with a right. It wasn't flush. It was while Mitch, uh, Almy was backing up, but it did score. Let's go. Oh, you don't want to stand there, man. You want to move, or Mitch is going to... 
Closer and closer. Just like Mitch has Up not has he not wants, tried for one high. takedown. He wants uh -huh. to take this guy out on his feet. So he, wants him to he looks a lot more comfortable on the feet than he has in the past. He looks good. Yes, he is. Oh, we're a little delayed here. I like it. Oh, at least we're still live. Look at that shit. Look at that. Look at that. Minute left in the first. Oh, there. Mitch ducked down. Let's put the hands of God. That wasn't a big, a big deep shoot. Mitch was just testing the speed or his reaction on if he shot in. Let's get some kicks in there, Mitch. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we want to get a kick in, Mitch. Oh, nice, nice left. Did he hit him with a stiff left? Stiff. He's walking down. He's trying to walk in. I think he's going to try to shoot. Look Who, at, Almy? Yeah, he's going to try to shoot, and he's going to make a mistake. Almy has thrown maybe one punch. He threw a few kicks. I don't think he, he's hit with a Let's couple go, of low, baby. low, uh, just, you know, jabbing back kicks. Back him up. Put some jabs in his face. Back him up. What, what happened? What happened? Yeah. What happened? What happened? Dick Mitch backed him over to the left. Did he hit him? Connect with that? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. Let's put him to sleep, baby. I like to put see him Mitch asleep. kick him right in the friggin'. Check them fucking yeah. kicks and let's go. Almy just scored a kick, nothing big, but Mitch has got to mix it up a little bit with a, a kick. He's got to throw a kick in there. What do you think? What are, he, what are we talking to him here? So Brian is telling right here, hey, use your jab, throw your inside. You feel what I'm saying? Pressure, back him up. Use your jab more. Ooh. Mitch is like. I'm seeing what I'm seeing. He's going down. And he's going to pick it up he's right here. Up. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Mitch looks now great. He, I mean, his movement great. in there, he looks like he's uh, he's just feeling out. See, that's what Brian's telling him right there. Yeah. Brian's like, man, you ain't got nothing to worry about. He's not. He's doing nothing. We're going to go home. Right after, after we beat his ass, we're going home. Exactly. We're, we get, we we're going we're gonna to call the room podcast we and Kels. <laughs> we, we do that. We do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Tell him to call me a uh, messenger. I could probably get him on live. You know what? Yeah. If he you. does, we'll see what happens. If not, I'll get him through phone call here. We got to, you know, you. we'll hear him. I, got I don't want to disturb the kid. Let's oh, get through no. this fight. See what happens. I'm sure he wants to enjoy the rest of the fights, but let's go. And shout out to Matty Franco if you're watching. You know how we do. Here we go. Mitch Raposo, go. second round. He let's definitely go. had the first round. Let's go, definitely baby. a 10 9 round. Let's go, baby. Uh, Mitch is going to mix it up, throw in a couple of kicks, or take him out right here if he, if he chooses. You're going to throw some kicks. Yeah, Mitch uh, handled that one. He, you know, he, his amateur career, he pretty much won oh, by decision on the mat. Mitch shoots in, takes That's him down it. right away. I That's think it. Down. He is, he is nice. now in Almy's guard, That's and it. this is where Mitch oh, will start Almy's working. Trying to throw elbows from the bottom. All right. So Bruce Boynton in, in the house saying, "Man, Mitch looks so sharp and smart. Kid is going places." And that's coming from a, a veteran that has been places. Uh, Bruce, pretty boy, man. Nice uh, nice chiming in, man. Miss you. I haven't seen much of you. You must be uh, enjoying the good life with the family and uh, you know working hard during these times, man. Uh, call in. Not now, but let's get a word. Catch up. Facts. Yeah, my little man, you know. Mitch is still in ha uh, full guard here with... Uh, Still in Almy's full guard. But he's gonna be there yeah. until he wants to get up and whoop that ass. Laz, no Laz, you just shared uh live results. Are you putting live results up or is uh Travis putting live results up? I'm doing it. I'm multitasking. Oh my god, that's why you are the president of New England MMA. <laughs> <laughs> so Mitch not is, election season for me though. <laughs> well Mitch is content here yeah, and no he's elbow, gonna stop. He, oh, Mitch uh postures up, elbow. lands an elbow. Beat so it doesn't. Matt uh, hasn't done a thing here. He just looks content. Uh, just, just staying on his back, content. or just, just. Hey, listen. Trying to counter or whatever. There's nothing you can do. There's <laughs> nothing you can do, brother. You know what I'm saying? How can you uh, get into the world when there's nothing you can do? <laughs> it is nothing you can do. When was the last you time you saw man? Mitch? Man, last night. Oh, Mitch, is ha uh, Mitch has got a leg free. It looks like he's going to try to get inside control. He's going to try to free that leg uh, up. Uh, uh, he's pushing through. Uh, he's going to take his time here. We got two minutes and 50 seconds left. Yeah, Mitch, Mitch is going to grind here, and he's putting the pressure on, a lot of shoulder pressure, and he's going to try to free that leg and get side control and just start hammering down. There. Oh, yeah, he is. And, oh, and, oh, he and, up, and, and, and 
we on UFC Fight Pass, yes. man. So we gonna get we we gonna get some TV time in this bitch. Whoop that ass. Yeah. You know oh, what I'm saying? Mitch mounted. Mitch has him out. Oh, uh-huh. oh, but he's still uh-huh. Mitch has his back. No he hooks in nowhere, yet. Bro. He ain't going nowhere, bro. No, listen, Mitch is holding listen, on he, to him. Trust me, he's not going nowhere. <laughs> trust me, what I'm saying. He's I, I not know, going he anywhere. Going, I just want to. Uh, I'm like, oh, Mitch, one hook. All right, so Almy is up. Mitch has him against the cage. Almy is turning into him. Mitch is going down for a single leg. Going to try to take him down again. Uh, you, we know Almy's got. He's a little tired here. He's been on his back. And he's trying to defend a little killer, trying to yeah. fucking maul him right now. On your face or on your back, that's your options. Come on, Nitch, uh, Mitch, knee to the mid, knee to the mid. Uh, n- there you go. Mitch knee. takes him back down, and uh, and he took advantage of that knee that Almy Almy tried mm-hmm. to throw a, ni- a knee in it. So you clinch, ain't going nowhere, and Mitch uh, took advantage of it, took him down again. So Mitch is just mauling him. Mitch is just um, controlling Matt pretty good. Gonna get him a couple of knees, probably. Oh, nice. Yeah, this, is a, this is a good test for Raposo, but uh, he's definitely controlling the action. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, Al- Almy's getting outclassed pretty much wherever this fight's going right now. Just, I think that says a lot about Mitch's athleticism. Exactly. And, and, and uh, Almy can't even throw, like, he, Mitch, he tried to throw an elbow from the gonna, side, and he has that. no look power. That, he has no energy. Uh, Almy is, is draining right here. Look, look at that. Mitch is just suffocating him. He's just like putting his body weight on him and just relentless going after the single leg and taking him down and just can't. What? That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog. Look at that. Dog. Oh, I like look that. that. Mitch has got a little better. Um. Uh, oh, Mitch uh, mounts him right now. A pure it. mount right here that's against the it. cage. Mitch has got 35, 35 seconds to work in the second round. Let's go, uh, total baby. domination. Mitch hasn't done a, a ton of damage on him, but he's controlled the hell out of him. Is this a what do you? Is this a ten nine round right now? What do you? It, it's not much damage, but he controlled him for five minutes and uh, that's it. Ten nine. That's it. All right. Yeah, it's ten nine. Clear. Ten seconds left. Mitch is uh, just landing some uh, punches. This is gonna hit way him out. So yeah. now, so now, what are you gonna do? Put the hands to him now. Yeah. He's tired now. This third tired round, now, if, uh, if, you're not, if you're not watching this, or you, or you can watch it and you're listening to us, tune into this third round on UFC Fight Pass because uh, this is where Mitch is going to finish this fight. If this fight is going to be finished, it's going to be in the first minute and a half of this third round. Time to shine now, baby. Leave it, please. Put it back. Killer. Killer. That dude's saying, damn, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> that what he's saying right now. He's like, God damn, bro, my neck, my back, all that shit hurt right now. Hello, man, on me. Hey, since there's a commercial on, um, I just want to let everyone know that I almost died two and a half weeks ago. <laughs> I, I gotta throw that out there. You know what I mean? It's like, um, you know, um, yeah, two and a half weeks ago, I got, you know, jumped and beat up pretty bad and um, thrown down a ditch. I am back in 16 days podcasting. That just shows you the heart in New England MMA. I'm not a fighter, but I am a fighter at heart, people. And I am back. 54 years old, broken clavicle, lower back, whatever. Back, and bitch. we're back. Third let's round. Let's go. Let's go. Whoop this ass. <laughs> I to tell you that. Let's, yeah. We gonna whoop, you know what I'm saying? Let's whoop that ass, bro. We just lost more viewers because that. No, I'm only kidding. You're going to be all, all right, right, bro. Look at Lars. Looks right away. No, he didn't. <laughs> Come on, oh, man. Let's go sting his bitch ass. Let's go. Just a beer. There you go, bro. You want a beer? You can trust the woman to beer. We do have visitors in the house, but, you know, they can't come on camera. They want to. Oh, look at that cut. I told you. Ah, you tried your elbow, little bitch. All right. You, know, excuse, you know what? Yeah. You know what? I'm <laughs> man like that, dog. I'm just used to being. So Alan's just trying to, he, what, try to spin an elbow right yeah, there? Yeah, trying to spin an elbow, trying to mess up my dude's hairstyle and shit. <laughs> Fuck wrong with him. You know what I'm saying? Can't do that. Yeah, see that oh, kick? Oh, yeah. Let's Nick, go, Nick, baby. Mitch Let's with a nice go, left baby. kick to the body side. Kick. Let's go, yeah. baby. Let's He's landing go. those body kicks, and you can tell Ami doesn't like it. I know he ain't going to like that shit. Mitch, watch the light. Right, there we that. go. Mitch Ami is a good left Mitch. jab. Yeah, Mitch. Oh, he's, oh, he's trying to get a guillotine. He's, no in, he's in no danger. Oh, Mitch is out. There you go. Trying to get that guillotine over Mitch is in um, Ami's God again. Third round. Three minutes and 45 seconds left. 
Mitch is just gonna, you know, do damage here like the second round and just control him the yeah, rest. Almy's gonna explode, control. do something here. Almy looks content, laying flat full. on his back. Get that full. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get, you're gonna get one, one, one. Mitch is gonna Mitch is gonna slice that leg out, and we're gonna get we're gonna get him out here. He's got plenty of time. Three minutes and twenty seconds. There you go. Just beat. Just Couple beat. of hammer fists from Mitch. He's in a good spot here to posture up and uh, land some elbows, but he's trying to get a little better position. Oh, what's he doing, Kels? Explain here. Well, what he's doing to me is like he's trying to get that up. Oh, there you go. The trying side, to throw the elbows yeah. in that bitch ass nigga. Get him position to land them elbows. How are you doing? From the side, yeah. Throwing, throwing the elbows. Told you that side. And here's and the, the thing. Trip. Almy is in defense mode the whole time because not only is he in danger of being side control and mounted, he's in danger of elbows, hammer fists, and Everything. just total control from Mitch. He cannot move from here. He is just holding on. Throwing the tripod on him. Yeah. Leg and off, Mitch, you, Mitch is slicing the leg out, going for that mount again. That full mount. Going to run, run, throw them palms. Them there he goes. Fist. Mitch full mount. Oh, oh. oh. Almy tries to sweep him. Mitch, uh, they're back at 50-50. Oh. Guillotine on yeah. his own. I would let Mitch, I would let him up and just beat the shit out of him right here. You got two minutes left. Right. Throw some let him up. Play with him. Let yeah, him play up. With him. Let's go. Yeah, let him up and and let him uh, reset and take him down again. Let's go. Let's and go. frustrate him. And then there you go. Mitch goes. Hey, Mitch took him down. Uh, took a leg again, and he's just gonna grind him against the cage, man. It was a great fight for Mitch, man. It is. Mitch looks big, in. man. I, I saw some pictures you threw up on Facebook the other day of pictures of Mitch, probably one of his first amateur fights, and he was pretty, you could tell he was an adolescent. He's, yeah. You know, growing yeah. into a man now. He was fighting 125 back then, too. You know, so he was he was little. He wasn't doing strength and conditioning. He barely had hair on his balls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. With a head of hair like that. Uh, <laughs> dude, my man. That dude at puberty at 10. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go, baby. Some hairy ass legs. Uh, Matt, look at Almy just looking, just waiting like, it out, how man. How long do I have to go till I get paid? Let's go. Uh, my feet froze. Yes, yo, what? You look good here. My feet froze. No, like, uh, my butt has feet. Oh, you, it's still good here, huh. unless it freezes in a in a second. You you're eating your food right now. We're like two minutes back. Could be my interwebs. Oh man, it could be that main garbage. Yeah, it's our uh, our dial up. It's pretty slow up here. Uh, total domination by Mitch. Oh, Just yeah. total uh, outclassed. Little, even on the feet. Scramble, yeah, even on the feet, Mitch Mitch dominated him. Uh, we that, still got 30 that, that. seconds left, but unless Al, uh, Matt Almy gets like a, a, a lightning from Jesus Christ, he ain't winning this fight. No, he ain't getting that. Mm -mm. He's trying for a guillotine at the last 20 seconds. All right, Mitch, relax, relax. You got 20 seconds. He's out. All right. I'm gonna punish your bitch ass yeah. for that. And Matt Almy has a few uh, submissions too. He's not bad on the feet at all, man. And Mitch just um, yeah. totally manhandled him. Congratulations, Mitch Raposo, five and oh. That's right. Throw five back. and oh. There Fight's over. Unanimous on all cards on every round. Uh great fight, Mitch, man. Congratulations. First fight for CES. Uh what's your take on that, Lars? Man, he looked good. You know, it's kind of what we expected out of him, right? He's four and oh, he's probably one of the biggest prospects in the region. And he's evolving quickly. So we expected nothing less than a dominant performance, and that's what we got. Right. Showcase some stand up. Yep. And he showcased because he, he for the good part of it for the good part of the first round, stood up. Stood yep. up, stood up, wanting to stand exactly. up. Exactly. And so, they're gonna talk about that. Because yeah. you know, you know, Matt Almy didn't want to engage with him, so Mitch had to go to his bread and butter and just grind him with the takedowns after. You know what I mean? Right. Dude, you don't want to play with me on the feet? I'm going to just you play cat I, and mouse with I you, man. what I do with you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Uh, taking nothing Take against... My man, nothing huh? away from Matt Almy. He's a gamer. He fights only beasts. Right. Uh, but, you know, he didn't have anything. Anything for Mitch. Not even um, nothing. Nothing, so nothing at all. That's what I'm saying. 
can't do nothing. <laughs> can't do nothing. Yeah, man, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, man. Mitch, 5 and 0. Oh, first fight for CES. Congratulations. First fight on Fight Pass. Right. Dude's um what, the number one prospect in New, in in, in New not a, not in New in England country. in the country at this point, in the man. country, number one in the country. Yeah. My dog. What's um what do you think Mitch is uh, I know you got to he's got to step back with the coaches and Tyson and all that. Yeah. But how fast you think he's going to get back in there? We got CES of cards coming, we got Bellator, and we got the contender series. I heard there's another um Tyson, contender or Tyson, uh something think, coming out with them. Well, Tyson's pretty smart, so Tyson, you know, pretty much know what he wants to do with him. So, you know, it, it is whatever Tyson said, you know, we already game for anything. So, you know, basically we'll leave it up to Tyson and, you know, uh, evidently my dude is not hurt. He can go, you know what I'm saying? He can go. Uh, he can, he go can actually him. come to the yeah. podcast right now and hang out with mm -hmm. us if you want to. My See dude. how I threw that in there, Lars? Always working. Yeah, I like it. Always fucking working. Right. Thumbs up my feed. This is uh, really pissing me off here. No, we're still live, man. We're still going good. Look at my dude, what, you bro. Can you re reset it? Reset it. Sometimes it goes out. Yeah, I'm resetting it. Let's see what happens. Killer. In between, um, in between intermissions, I'm gonna play our pro number one video. How's that sound, Lars? In, Love be it. in between these, um, this fight, we can. Dad, my dog. You and I can still talk, but um, we'll play it in between. Show all our uh, number one pros in New England while um, you know, they have the in between fight here. Yep. Make sure you text these guys. Maybe Mitch will want to call in. He can be phone. He doesn't have to call in by uh. Video, it's up to him. If he calls him by video, tell him to call me. Um, don't even, yeah, call you. Right. I'd rather have him on uh, phone. Right. I don't want to fuck anything up on the feed. Right. We're not, we're not that um smart yet. We'll figure it Little out next week. Dog. All right, Brandon Mitch Raposo, kill a Mitch, my man. Chris coming up, right? What's that? Chris. Chris Motino uh should be coming up next. Oh wait a minute. Yes, Chris Motino is up next. Hey, has anyone heard of heard from Travis? Lars, anyone? No. He's not even on the feed. Look at that stud. Down over my dog. His hair is still perfect, except hair for a little still sweat. Perfect. Mine is that little bitch ass elbow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's, uh, I wonder who's media there right now. He's talking to someone. I wonder who's, um, asking him questions. Do you think it's the commentators? Who do you think's asking him questions right now, Lars? Because we, I assume no, the commentators, yeah. No, no media was allowed in the place. Is there any media there at all, or is it just CES personnel? Pretty sure it's just CES personnel. I mean, from what I when I talked to Jimmy, um, he was trying to get stuff past the commission in terms of media, but they were they weren't having it. So, hey, Fred Lear, just want to congratulate you on uh, the new gym from Bella Rosa opening up. I saw his post today. Um, dude, I want to talk to some of you guys. I know, um, um, I know you got, you know, not much shit happening, but I know you got the gym opening and I know, you know, people are trying to get fights going, man. Um, let's, let's, let's chat. I know, uh, Josh, Josh Harvey was supposed to come here with, um, with the coach and, uh, have a podcast about the new gym. I know it's still being constructed, but let's have a podcast. Let's talk about, um, this new endeavor of you guys, man. Oh, Andrew Burns just uh, said commentary is done by the CES guys. I understand that. But is the interviews done by the CES guys? The ring announcer is doing post-fight interviews. Thank you very much. Andrew Burns with the info. Awesome. Yeah, my boy Chris coming back on. Chris Motino coming back. All right. He's been in this room a few times in the past. Look at my doll right there. Who's that? William Knight mm -hmm. throwing people around. Mm -hmm. Matt Bissett, yeah, CES man. featherweight champion, still uh, hovering around. He is a prison guy right now. He's probably working 24 hours a fucking day. Ooh, Matt yeah. Mm 
He's doing well. He's got a new, uh, well, I can't say new baby daughter. I think she's about one year, one and a half years old at this point. She's so cute, man. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's still a baby. He's probably already got a holding pads. All right, my man. So um, next fight, Chris Motino coming back. Uh, Chris is uh, between wins and losses. Wins a couple, lost a couple. The dude is better than, I mean, the kid was fi- undefeated. Um, you know, shit happens in a fight yeah. career. The kid, when you talk to other fighters in New England, they talk about Chris Motino, how much of a beast that kid is. The damage yeah. and, and just how good he is when they spar against him, when they wrestle against him, when they, you know, just grapple against him. Yeah. The kid is a true beast. He doesn't give up. You have to kill that kid to put him away. And that's basically, you know, what fighters had to do to him in the past mm-hmm. to win a fight against him. You have right. to put him away. Uh, what have you seen from Chris? I know he's training with Regiment now. Mm-hmm. You've known him from the past. I mean, it's a small world in New England. Yeah. What have you seen leaps and bounds since, you know, the last time you hit that cage? He's constantly in that gym working. Constantly. And, um... He just is basically you, you. You can see him just like leveling up each and every week, cause from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, he's in there, and he drives like damn near almost an oh, hour. Oh yeah, to yeah, get here. yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so he consistent with it, and um, you know he's real humble, but you can tell in the stare that like I'm hungry, I want it. So, and, and Chris is not a big talker. No, I not mean, at all. He, he's, like you said, humble. He's a doer. Exactly. Like, he's confident. He'll talk about confidence, but he's not a shit talker. He's not a do yeah. this. Just put someone in front of me that and is a beast, and let's get it done, yeah, man. And we're going. Excellent, man. So, I can't wait to see him display everything he has tonight. And I'm telling you, like, he got this. Oh, man, yeah, for real. He got this. Um, hopefully, I mean, I mean, we had some quick fights, but Chris is either he's going the distance or he's taking this dude out in the first round. That's how Chris yeah. works. Yeah. So you know, home boy better grow his grill. Hey Lars, did your uh, did your feed re reboot? Ah, uh, I'm having still having issues. I think I'm gonna have to reset my router, so I'm gonna have to have to hop off for a minute. Yeah, do what you want. Um, actually, we're gonna play the video. Go ahead. I'm gonna play the number one. New England okay. uh, video. So take off, Lars. It's, it's, All right, give me five minutes. Yeah, yeah, All whatever. Right. Do your thing. I'll uh, We'll talk about the fights and whatever. All right, go ahead. Okay.
All right, we are back. Let me put this up because Lars isn't back yet. So let me put um, a CS poster up. Pause that. Look at that. I got things going. Oh, let's give a shout out since we're here. Uh, let's give a shout out to Cameron Lachinoff, Lachinoff, who is fighting tomorrow night at Bellator. People, people don't realize this is Lachinoff's fourth fight for Bellator. He's already had three wins. He is signed by Top Game Management now. Big guy. He just recently signed with them before this Bellator fight. Cameron fights out of Team Link in um, Worcester, Pat Casey's gym. I know that gym is having uh, issues because of mass, and so they're not fully functional yet. So these guys are running around a little bit um, trying to find fight camps. So... Um, Who's that? On the left? Yeah, he's been there a couple of times now because he's fight. He's uh, training. He's on the Tyson, so he's probably getting some cross training there. He didn't have any. Uh, you know, like I said, he, Team Link is not fully active now in Mass, so he's got to travel around probably to get that work in. You right. know what I mean? And fight and training with Tyson. You know he's gonna get you the That's best work. the best partners and the best training uh the best sparring partners so uh so Cameron Lachinoff fighting tomorrow night for Bellator is it Bellator 249 I think it's Bellator 249 I mean, I, I don't even know oh, no, it's just too many fucking things going on so uh congratulations um my man and uh if anyone doesn't know Pat Casey he signed on a um Full contact management. Okay. He has another fight for Bellator coming. Okay. Yeah, we got him another fight for Bellator. Yeah, he did well in his last fight. Went three rounds. Uh, split decision against a jiu-jitsu wizard. A dude that, you know, I think was six six fight win streak. Mm -hmm. Has like three wins for Bellator. And Pat, Pat took him to the distance, man. All right, Lars will come on whenever he's got it on uh, halt right now. What else did I want to show right there? Uh, he disappeared. We might not get Lars back. <laughs> <laughs> Lars. We might, we might not get Lars back. Yeah, Messenger is still up. Um, but the video chat ended, so um, it might not open back up. I don't know how that works. We'll figure it out. Dolan. Huh? And Darwin. Oh, that's my boy. That's his... Why is he? Oh, there he is. Is he back? Oh, he's back. Look at that, Laws on the fly. So we're working correctly here, brother. Um, nice. Things are working in the room. You can disconnect and come back on. I love it. Okay. Where are we at with the with the uh, feed right now? Uh, we are in intermission, so it was perfect. I played the amateur and the pro. Um. Uh, number one through tens in New England. So, uh, it's just uh, CES boxing and shit ads. Yeah, they now. just had a bunch yeah. of uh, a bunch of talk and a bunch of uh, ads and stuff. So, we are Sweet. back. Uh, let me put the fight card back up. There we are. Lars is back in the house. We're rolling, and we're rolling again, brother. I'm very excited about how this podcast looks tonight. Tonight we were gonna try to go YouTube, but I lost. We I was gonna troubleshoot it and figure it out on. Um, Monday and I lost power here on Monday and then when the power came back on the, the internet had to be rebooted kind of like what you were talking about Lars did that work for you? Yeah it did Alright yeah. awesome so that's kind of what happened here Lars I lost my feed I couldn't interview on Monday and I couldn't uh, figure out how to get this podcast live streamed on YouTube then we can share the YouTube link to Facebook and then we can hit both sides YouTube because we are eventually and in the next two or three weeks, we are going to be moving the show to YouTube and sharing the YouTube link to Facebook and um, to our website so you guys can come to YouTube and check us out there. We got to grow that channel. That's where we can get revenue and that's how we can survive here. Uh, Facebook, man, it, it's helped with gathering followers and loyal people to uh, you know join the page and all that other stuff, but we need an, other outlets to... Uh, to get some revenue here, Pat. And we did mention uh, 
about um, full contact management that we uh, do have some fighters. And Pat Casey, I did announce that he is fighting for Bellator, but I did not say when. And uh, we are very happy to have him aboard. Pat is uh, very excited to be a part of our team, one of our newest guys to join the team. And uh, let's talk a little bit about that. We got a couple of minutes before Martino makes the walkout. But Lars, talk about a little bit about uh, this full contact management and, uh, you know, what you're feeling about it. Yeah, so it's kind of an offshoot of what we've done here at the website. We have a lot of connections and relationships in the industry, not only with fighters, but promoters, other business partners between us three. And, uh, you know, Travis was already managing Chris Saro, and then uh, Rass needed some help, Rass Hilton. Uh, and then, you know, said if we're going to do this, why don't, you know, we just do it, you know? Let's, let's not try to half-ass this. So we jumped into the management game, and it's been amazing. We've been kind of at it for three or four months now, and we got five or six guys signed. We're talking to another five or six guys. We're making connections with, you know, promotions on a national level and just trying to help these guys get to the next level and, you know, maximize their revenue while they do it. So it's been a blast. You know, we, had, we actually had a really good meeting with an up-and-comer yesterday, Travis and I did. Uh, I won't mention any names, but um, hopefully we'll have some good news to – to mention some new signings here in the near future. Excellent. Uh, I know you had a phone call and I know you were meeting with somebody. Did you, uh, which one did you end up uh, connecting with yesterday? No, no, no names, but was the phone call or uh, we, the meeting? Uh, we met with, uh, okay. you know, the fighter and his coaches did, did yesterday you, for you, lunch. Did you blow yeah. his dick off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His, his wife now is solely has to masturbate because he has no more talk. <laughs> How we get fighters employed. Oh, right, we go after their girlfriends and, 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 and wives. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome, man. Congratulations on everything, lads. Uh, so there's a little change up in our lineup on our fight card from uh, our our site. Uh, Tyler King is fighting right now. Uh, I think uh, it might be mixed or... I Oh, Tyler King. Oh, no, it's right. You are right, yeah. but... It's mixed up. Connor Matthews is under Tyler King and all that other stuff. Yeah, honestly, we've had um, – we didn't really know what the fight order was. Um, and there was a weigh-in. The, the info they released for weigh-ins was different order than what we saw in Tapology and talked to people about. So I think they're – I'm not sure how they figured this out, but it seems to be a little messed up. But whatever, we got, we got some heavyweights going at it. Tyler King and uh, Jamel Jones – Let's see if Tyler can get off the schneid. He's on a four-fight skid. Uh, hopefully his chin can hold up and get well, a good we, result here. Listen, Let's see. the dude he's fighting for, uh, Will, uh, Will Knight, last time. I think this dude actually had Will Knight's back at, uh, for a little while in that fight. Am I wrong, or did Will just go run through this guy? Uh, honestly, I can't remember the fight off the top of my head. I, I think um this guy came and was uh, Will, Will run through, ran, Yeah, but I think through. Will was forced to go up in weight because this guy came in heavy. He was the last minute replacement, right. I think. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he, he was in some trouble in that fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think um I think he had Will's back or had um had him back and was landing some blows and and as Will always does, he just manhandles you and destroys you by the end of the fight. He always puts himself in some worse situations and yeah. always finds himself out of that exactly. worst situations and wind up fucking shit up after the worst situations. Exactly. I think, uh, I don't know. The nightmare. Yeah, his just gas tank and his strength and just his will to destroy you goes through. Uh, is, it, is it that his neck's too big to wrap around? Like, what's going on? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But he, when he throw them thunder cookies on you, all right, this fight, man. Uh, this I have no i what no idea to expect. I know King is a great grappler. He does a lot of uh, submission uh, competitions and stuff like that. This dude, I, I, uh, is I got fine. a. Uh, I think this, this was. I got a text message from a fighter. Time. I'm not going to say his name. Go ahead. Uh, it says a lot of guys fighting bums for peanuts, inflating their record, hoping the UFC calls. Oh, really? Interesting. Awesome. I love fighters come calling in and talking about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So here we go. Tyler King against uh who's this guy? So, so, who? No, let me stop. I'm not even gonna do that. 
Mr. Let's Jones. Go, baby. Tyler against uh, King against Jones. Here we go. Let's go, King. King has not won a fight in a long time. He's like on a four fight losing streak, three or four fight. Eight. Yeah, he's got a great record. He, eight, he is nine, he is ranked in us. He's, I mean, he's dangerous. I the last. I think fight, Barack Obama was still our president. The last, last time we fight, won a fight. Oh, look at him. He was he was going to try that jumping fucking knee. Don't fucking do that. He was um he was just playing. I think Tyler's last fight in the CS cage was against Keith Bell. Well, when, I think both of them need yeah. to, both of these uh, nice uh jabs. nice two leg kicks by Jones uh inside and outside right leg kick to uh Tyler's left left leg, another leg kick. So he's going to play that game. He's going to yeah. try to chop down the big man. I don't see Tyler faking him out with any of them um feints, but we'll see. He's trying to keep his distance. What I seen from that first fight with Jones was he runs out of gas, man. And we know Tyler grapples a lot. So I think the gas tank is going to be the, the telltale of this fight. Mm-hmm. He's coming over uh, and trained at... Um, yeah, at Reg- Reg- Regiment. I know uh, Jorgen used him a lot, a mm-hmm. big guy. Um, he's a legit dude, man. You know, Ty- I just like the leg kicks. I don't like the leg kicks either. I just saw a little <laughs> slip from Tyler on that CES logo. Keep that does look up, a little keep slippery. Hands up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta keep them goddamn hands up. Jones just tried a leaping uh, Ooh, left, uh, left straight, and uh, he might have connected a little bit. Yeah, but, but Tyler's trying to throw that jab out there, keep the distance. Um, not no pressure here by either fighter. They're they're content. Oh! oh, my God. Tyler tries a leg kick, and he slips, and he's back up, up back up. Jones is not going to hit the floor with Tyler. I don't see that happen unless he, he hurts him on the feet. Then he might follow him down the ground and pound. But Jones is not going in for a takedown. He is not going to jump in Tyler's guard. He's going to try to take him out on the feet. And I think Tyler senses that. So, nice. And I, and not, I think Tyler needs to go ahead on it and shorten his distance up yeah. in the stance. And go ahead on and start. And, and you kick. see, um, uh, Jones just landed another inside leg kick, and Tyler is trying to uh, check. He is lifting that leg to check, but he's telegraphing it now. So them leg kicks are bothering Tyler a little bit. And another thing too, though, he's not he's not pressuring up the middle. So when you jab, you jab up the middle. You go ahead on, you back them up. Then you can go ahead on to savage your attack. But if you're doing looping punches or just flinging them out there with no no advancement. You got nobody. It, this is just a sparring side. match right it here is. from the outside. It is. Go on, go get a piece. These out. guys are not engaging right here. They need to engage. These are heavyweights here, man. You need to close the distance and start throwing some punches. Tyler, a little faint, try to run in. But um we're not doing much here. Uh, some, uh, oh, big bullshit. left hand by Jones oh, drops get up. King. Get up. Drops King. Get your ass up. Now Get up, King. Jones got his back. Get up. Oh, big left kick to the midsection of of uh, King. Jones. Um, now you're going to try to build some confidence. Yeah, now. Jones is uh, now he's going to close that distance. Now. He did he's drop He did drop King. King with a big uh, big stiff left. Wow, his hands are down. Look was that. that a right hand, Andrew? I thought it was a left hand. It was, it was a left, I think, yeah. Yeah. He must be watching the opposite side. <laughs> Tyler's moving that head a little bit, but nothing's changed in the game plan. He's still throwing that jab out there. So and Jones, moving, Jones is just gonna counter, or he's gonna leap in there with a big, another big left hand. I see it coming. That should have been the first fight. Yeah, I think so. I think it should fight. have been yeah. the first fight or second. Fight. Well, we got two veterans here, the big records, and and fought for some big stages. Got to put them up there, I guess. You know what I mean? But heavyweights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe this is still the first round. We're fifty seconds left in the first Are round. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's go, T, bro. Yeah, it's not much action here, man. Let's we got go. we got six feet of distance between them. That they they're not they're not. They sold the distances. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Jones can't even get that kick going now. He can't even reach him. You know. would think when he landed left like that, he put some damage, he would close the distance again. He can say, well, oh, I got, I got, I scored high of the knockdown, so now I'm going to play safe. 
Well, he, you know, they, all right, okay. something's got to change in the next round. Or, you got to put um, some pressure to him. Or I'm, I'm watching Dexter. No, I'm only kidding. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Pop, who you get some popcorn, bro? Yeah. You want peanuts, popcorn? What else? I got a fucking uh, nectarine or whatever the fuck that is. Oh, man, for real? Yeah. Man. Hold that up. You want Look at you. He's out. He's out. Oh, what happened? I missed it. Wow. He just knocked Tyler out with what? What did he knock him out with? Jesus, I looked up too. Tyler King just got fucked. A huge left. Andrew, oh are you God, sure? Was it a huge right? Sorry, Andrew. I'm just playing. I'm, you know, I need to know. Tyler is out cold. He's out flatlined right now. I shouldn't ask for a motherfucking popcorn. KO at the end of the round. I Jones. Ask for the fucking popcorn. I know. You fucked us all. Fuck. Show the replay. Come on. They're going to replay it 20 times. Believe me. Here it is. Tyler with the check, and here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jones tries a spinning shit. Oh, my God. A big left fucking hand as Tyler was coming in. Finished, finished with Straight left. three hammer fists on the ground. Tyler was already out, and he got three more hammer fists at the end. He is going to need... Short left. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Tyler is still out cold. Damn, man. He is still out. Damn. His arms are straight out. Uh, that's a nasty KO. It was the follow through too, but he was already out. That was a step in left hand as Tyler was coming in. So you got a guy coming in and a guy coming in with full left hand and what? met him. Not full extension, no, like, but... Like, boom! Like he hopped in. Like, wow. wow. And Tyler is out cold. Hits his head on the back and then three hammer fists... Straight on the nose. Holy oh my shit. God. And he tried to do it hard, too. Well, there you go. Lars, your take on that? Shall we? Uh, let's Man, you know, they got the, they, wait a minute. The he's moving. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, he's moving. They got the stretcher in there. He's but that, moving. That was you know, that's the thing. Like, at this point, it's, uh, you know, it's probably time for Tyler to hang him up. Yeah. He's been... Five losses in a row. He's been knocked out. How many of those times? Three or four at least. Um, and obviously, that was a heavy shot, but he also got dropped early in the round. There were short lefts. They weren't like huge windups. And they put him down and pretty much obviously out cold for a couple minutes here. It's, um, it's time for, for Tyler King to kind of stick to grappling. He didn't do anything in that fight. Not that Jones was, um, you know, they were really mixing it up, but Jones had, you know, he had that nice success in the middle of the round, and he was pushing forward here and there. Um, landing leg kicks, which screwed up Tyler a little bit, took him off his timing. And Jones was just waiting for that. I mean, Tyler came in with that like, right the first five seconds with a, a fake, you know, flying knee kind of attempt, and he was playing with him out there. And then he came in with another leap and um, got hit with a big left hand. And three him a fist after. We can't forget about that. So um, Tyler is sitting up. He is on the seat, but that was a devastating knockout. Devastating knockout. And I don't think he made too much money for that either. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, Tyler was looking, I mean, Tyler was just looking for a win to get back in there and then maybe get a fight at Bellator or or somewhere. Uh, that's that's kind of out of the question right now. I don't see, um, he. I don't see, I mean, a, a knockout like that, you're going to be out for a little while as far as uh, commi commission. Yeah. After three months, right? That three or six months. People, uh, uh, Terrence just had some words. I won't uh, repeat it, but um, you guys say whatever you want, man. It's, I mean, what Terrence said. I mean, you guys have been on social media wars with Tyler. I mean, you know. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Um, so if you want to see what's going, you want to see what's going on here, uh, jump on our feed. You, you can, yeah, no, no disrespect right here. Let, people want to read stuff on the on the thing. I'm not going to disrespect. Uh, it's no disrespect. These are fighters, competitors that have been um, talking to each other and um, shit talking online for at least two months now. I mean, it is what it is, man. You you got to take it when you give it. Yeah. Right. That's right. You heard him from the man right here. I'm enjoying the show. This uh, Tyler's up, standing up on there his you feet. You go, my man. 
Uh, no stretcher needed. He'll be checked out in the back. He might. I would imagine he'll probably have to go to the hospital just to get checked out. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't have a concussion. Uh, but he's up. He's talking to the doctors. And uh, Tyler's smiling, man. It, after all this shit talking or not on Facebook, Tyler is a competitor. He's trying to sell himself. And I like the dude as far as a human being. Uh, he's a good dude out of the cage. You know, it's just bad luck tonight, man. Yeah. Regroup. That was that was probably right at the end of the round too. There must have been um, yeah, there was a second like, or two left yeah, in the round. Yeah, someone said it was the very end of the round. So Tyler maybe was jumping in there to, you know, knew the end of the round was coming. wasn't Didn't feel he was endangered, but man, he got picked up off his feet for a, a six eight guy or, or whoever he is. Impressive performance by Jamel Jones. Yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, he will. And like I said, uh, before the fight started, he had. William Knight's back, uh, ran out of gas, man. Uh, and he was late notice, came in like, what, 24, 48 hours notice for that Will Knight. So um, kudos to Jones, man. I'd like to see him back uh, with a proper training camp. And, um, you know, we're, they had about three weeks to train for this, right? Three or four weeks. That's not, yeah. you know, coming out of COVID, you want a real training camp to get ready. I mean, uh, so we'll see him back, I would imagine. CES mm -hmm. is probably high on him right now. They don't have William Knight anymore. William is in the UFC. They need a friggin' another heavyweight in there. Greg Bello teetering on retirement. We don't know where he is. Yeah. So here we go, man. Yeah, Jorgen, Jorgen gone. Jorgen, yeah. All the heavy hitters. We got we do got Ross Hilton. He's been fighting for Bellator, but you know, he you know, there's two more months. Mm -hmm. Uh or two or three months well, left, he, and a couple. Gonna of, be, he's gonna be out for a while because you just got knocked out. No, time. no, no. He got hit in the back, but I don't think uh, that wasn't. I don't think he's gonna be out that. Long. I think he could fight in the next really? month. Laz, what's uh, what's what's um, Roz's uh, timeline here? Can he fight? Um, he hasn't been cleared by the doctors yet, but we're expecting that to be soon. And then we're you know looking to see what we can do with him. You know, we'd love to get him back into to Bellator, but. We'll see where it goes. If that doesn't happen, we'll, you know, but for now, we, we haven't started talking to him about, you know, kind of what's next. We're still waiting for him to get, uh, you know, get clearance from the doctor, and then we'll sit down and figure where we want to go from there. Excellent. And Excellent. As if we, Bellator wants to call, we'll, we'll come knocking, you know? Awesome. Awesome. Um, I like to just say a strange look uh, in the CES cage. This hazmat. Dudes in all white hazmat suits walking around inside the cage. That is fucking strange to watch. It is like weird. I'm watching the, the, the fucking, what was that movie with the kids, the the, 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 dude, the monsters that, Monsters Inc. That's what I feel like I'm watching right now. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Chris Motino with the blue hair. What's with the blue hair? Oh, I don't know, man. Is there a story behind the blue I hair? I don't know. I really don't know, to tell you the truth. Awesome. There you go. Joe Leonard, nice to see him back in the commission uh, spot, walking the fighters out. Joe Leonard, as you know or you don't know, he does a lot of stuff for Cage Titans as far as their, um, takes care of their uh, flow combat feed, gets all that going, uh, connects it, and works all the whole show out. It also works for the commission, uh, does a lot for when the commission was running and had their meetings. Joe was always there. I think he did a Facebook uh, or a YouTube live with them or something. Joe Leonard, I really like. I know he was in the hospital earlier in the COVID uh, when COVID hit. It wasn't COVID. It was something else. He is out. I like to see Joe Leonard. I'm glad to see him out again. Uh, congratulations, Joe Leonard, for uh, you know healthy uh, days and being back out there. Chris Motina, I'm really like digging the hair. This is probably one of my favorite fights on the card here. Um, Ashika Jim is is an absolute stud. Lutino's got his hands full, that's for sure. But this should be a banger of a fight. It's going to be a banger. I know Travis was very high on this fighter coming in. Uh, Travis loves Mutino, but uh, he also likes his fighter and just sees upside on him. So this is a great matchup. And we know Mutino has dog fights and uh, what we talked about earlier. Yeah. You can't. You the only way you beat him is and if you, you him. put him out. You gotta kill him. I don't think Motino's ever lost a decision. Never been to a decision as far as lost. I think he might have been to a, one decision in his career with a win, uh, but he's not used to them. He's a fast paced, fast worker. He either takes you out or he'll grind you to the end. Right. So we're gonna see what's going on tonight. 
Where is this dude from? Um, Pakistan. <laughs> is he? Ashika Jim. He uh, fights with. He fights uh, Long Island MMA some with some John Gotti. Sell me some. F oh, is he? So they came as yeah. a package. Talking about John Gotti, let me just uh, block your face for a second here, um, Lars. You are still there. I'm just going to put up a pitch. Our main event, Nick Alley versus John Gotti the third. Uh, Nick Alley, never been to the, never been to a decision. Every fight is a finish, whether he's winning or losing. Six finishes, six and three record. John Gotti, what's John Gotti? Five and zero. Oh? Yeah, four first round finishes. His um his last fight was his was his biggest fight. Is that is that you? Is that Lars? Is that Travis? How do I dude don't who is the, when people call me on messenger when I don't when you're not part of my team, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, dude. Fuck I thought off. it was Travis. I just got a hot on. I was ready to fucking come all over my desk. I could say that because this is not a fucking PG show. All right. Uh, all right. Let me get your face back on here, Lars. Uh, hey, Lars, our last show together when we did the CES uh, pre-show kind of last week. Was that last week? When did we do yeah, that shit? Yes, yeah, uh, a week ago. So um, I spelt your name wrong. I had you at Lara. Yeah. Lara. Why didn't you tell Lara. me that while we were live? Did you see it? Or I didn't, didn't I didn't notice until the next day. Isn't it funny? Someone said that. He goes, hey, what's Lara doing? I'm like, who the fuck is Lara? <laughs> I thought I I thought I said Lara as we were talking. I was calling no. Lara. Because as we all know, <laughs> I cannot spell or talk. So <laughs> you can't. Yeah, you, you obviously can't fight either. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, that all I can up. say That's is, I, you're an asshole, and I didn't feel a fucking thing. That's all I got to say. I fucking, I took the beat into my life, <laughs> and I didn't feel a fucking thing. <laughs> you go, Chris. <clears throat> all right, Chris Motino. Just bring a flagpole, right? Dude, I'm got, listen, I'm getting that flagpole. I'm going to go down and get it, and I'm putting it in this room. The, the flagpole that I was going <laughs> after the dudes for stealing. That would be great. That beat me with it. Oh, are you going? When, no. when that, they, that, listen, no, when they tossed me no, over the Jersey no. barrier, no. when they tossed me over the overpass, they threw the flag at me. <laughs> <laughs> Insult to injury. Take your fucking flag. On the highway. The fucking detectives didn't even know Your flag, it. son of it's a probably bitch. Got, it's probably got the indent of my face on it. It's probably got my, like, fucking silhouette on it. Motherfucker. All right, this fight started. Here we there go. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Here's your flag, bitch. I'm going to get it, man. Frame it. Here we go. Nice uh, body shot by, what's his name? Uh, a chic, a gym. A gym? A gym? Ajim? Ashik Ajim. Ajim. We got uh, Southpaw versus Orthodox here. All right, Ajim, uh, nice body kick, nice leg kick. Oh, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris, nice left to the body of Ajim. These guys are trading uh, leg kicks and some body mm -hmm. kick, body shots right now. I like it. Mm -hmm. And this is the fight Chris likes. Stand up. Mm -hmm. um, just battle. Sit in the phone booth and swing. Yeah, leg kicks. Really good left leg, uh, right, left, left leg kicks to the right of... Uh, oh. Of Chris. Good, Three in a row. Good leg kick by uh, Jim. Four, four, five. Oh, he's relentless on Chris's leg. He just keeps going over Ooh, and over. God, he looks good. Oh. Oh, Chris, nice right hand. Chris is in the pocket here. He's taking the leg kicks for an exchange. Mm -hmm. Every time he hits, you come in. Oh, nice left hand. Nice left hand by Chris and another nice left hand by Ajim. Oh, Chris. Let's go, put baby. In, Chris Let's go, put baby. In a, a three punch combo. Let's go, baby. Here. These guys are going at it right now. Let's go, baby. Come on, Chris. And we uh, knew this. This is my fight of the night right This here. is it. This yeah, is definitely. One. Chris. Chris won two. Chris is connecting, man. Nice jab by Ajim. Nice right hand. Chris's left hand, hand by really Chris. Good. Yeah. He's got to watch that chin with that left jab yeah. and that left hand. And he's holding his chin up a little bit. He's yeah. Gotta, he's got to get it tucked. He's, right, well, on. Chris is willing to trade one for two, but he's got to. He's gotta, um... oh, oh, Chris. Chris just got dropped with a left. A yeah. right hand and yeah. and he and the dudes let the dude didn't follow him and let Chris up. Wow, Chris got wow, up. interesting. Chris, got, Chris just got floored with a right hand. I thought the dude thought Hands Chris up. was knocked out, but Chris wasn't, and the dude let Chris up. Ajim, oh, I gotta Chris. give him his name. This guy's uh, kind of picking Chris apart right now. Yeah, he is. 
Chris has got to get his chin down. He's got to get that. Watch that left hand. Even though he got hit with a right, that left hand is that left hand is scoring. Chris is back left. in the pocket, throwing more of his own. Oh, chin down. It doesn't look that like that fight. That punch really affected yeah, really Chris too much. too much. But he's still getting Let's hit go. here. Let's go, Chris. Let's go, Chris. What a dog Hands fight. Up. Oh, Chris in the pocket. Ooh. They're Ooh, both, yeah. They are both landing. Damn. Chris. Let's go, baby. Hands up. Hands up. What a fight. Hands up. Yeah. Halfway through oh, the Chris Let's with a go, nice baby. left right Let's here. Let's go, Chris. This Fuck is, him up. This is Fuck a him fucking up, fight, man. Chris this is all the pressure. Show him that shit. Let's Chris, go. Chris is not afraid of this guy's Let's power, go. even though he got dropped, man. Let's go. Look at the volume they're throwing, too. Jeez. Boom. Eddie, you coming back and take that fucking round. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Chris Let's is just go. standing straight up, Let's willing go. to take a shot, man. He's got to move yeah. his head, man, though. Hey, move. He's getting hit he's more than he's pocket. hitting. He's getting hit he's more getting than he's hit. hitting, though. Ooh. 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 Move. Chris is hurt. No, I don't know. I, I think yeah. he's just... No, he's, he's still throwing it, man. Oh, Chris tries a big elbow yeah, against well. the cage, just misses. Now he locks up with Ajim. They're just That's sitting what? in the phone booth and yes, fucking having a piss down. fight. It's great. Like a minute and 20 seconds left. Why the fight. elbow? Why the elbow big, on the break? Big knee, Chris. Throw that knee in there. Throw that knee there. Oh, nice knee by knee. Yeah. Uh, left knee to the head by Chris. Chris, sorry. Can I have a beer? <laughs> Fuck, I'm going to run out of liquor. Come on, Chris. Let's go. What do we got? Over? Anything else over there? We're drinking we got a five, oh. Oh, I'll share that with you whenever later. Let's go. Let's go, Chris. What a fucking round. We still got 50 seconds. Yeah. Chris has scored. Chris, two straight rights. Ah. Scores a knee. And a knee. Slow his bitch ass down, Chris. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Chris is, go, Chris. Chris is landing with more volume now in the last minute bam, of this bam, fight. Bitch. He's ah, putting it all together. Ah, He's ah, mixing it ah, up. There you go, Chris. Let's go, baby. He's just going to watch out for that one punch. Let's go. Who's going to quit first? Oh, yeah, exactly. What a fight, man. What a fucking fight. Chris doesn't, he's not knee. breathing heavy. Knee. Oh, knee. There you go. three there combinations, you go, left, right, and a knee from Chris, man. He's putting it all together right now. Nine seconds left in this round. These guys the are in, these the guys middle. are in fucking great shape, yeah, man. You go. Chris ends the fight with a nice left. Um, Jesus, Lars, as, as, as a fucking scorekeeper here, what are you saying? I'm gonna give that a. I'm gonna give that a, a, a as a dead even. Ah, uh, the knockdown. I'm, I'm a, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna give that a ten nine. Yeah, so yeah, right there, from my perspective, you know, both these guys were throwing with similar volume. Um, I think Ajim was landing with a little more power, and that knockdown I think decides the round right there. Because if you take that knockdown out, it's a pretty close to even round without the knockdown. Add that knockdown in, and you know I think you, you gotta give a gym uh, a slight edge in that one, but it's a hell of a close round. All right, all right. All right. Lars, awesome round. Lars, that first knockdown was what? Maybe a third into the fight, maybe halfway. Chris finished strong. That last minute, Chris was putting it on him. Do the judges tend to? Do they? I know they're looking at that knockout, but do they look at what Chris did that last minute? Kind of, you know, doing more damage there. Yeah, that's definitely factored in. Um, you know, you can you can overcome a knockdown in a round by you know going back at the guy. I just don't think he threatened enough because uh, when it comes down to what, when a when a fight is that close from a striking perspective, who came closest to ending the fight? Yeah, you know, and that, that was right, a gym yeah, in that, that round. That right, yeah, there so, you go, baby. Oh, Chris, oh, Let's go. Chris is getting hit. I mean, we're we're mixing it up. Chris is landing, but Chris is still getting hit with that left hand, and he's this he's got to. Oh my God, this guy is throwing with. Deadly intentions. Sorry, I'm burping all Dude, day. I, I, what the fuck do I give a fuck, man? Let's go, Chris, bro. Chris just landed Tuck a nice left, chin. nice right hand. What do you think Chris needs to do here as far as body, 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 hit that body a little more? Tuck that chin. Because he's hitting with his with combos. Him. He's just, he's not going down, up and down. Down. It seems his combos are all for the head. Hit a body shot. Throw, oh, nice right hand by Chris. And then a There G, you go. There you go. There you go. I see Chris with a little more gas here. 
right here. I mean, they're still going at it, but Chris looks a tiny bit fresher. He is. Let's go turn him around. Underhooks. Throw that knee in. Throw the knee in. Fight of the fucking COVID right here, man. I haven't seen a fight like... Lars, I haven't seen a fight like this in, like, any regional promotion. Like, I mean, not that I've seen all the fights, but come on, man. This is this is, uh, this is a classic, an instant classic right now. Chris with deadly intentions with every strike. Throwing that right hand. He's clinched in, trying to throw that them knees in there. He's scoring more in this round, I believe. Wow, Chris is just walking who's, forward. Who's going to have oh, the better cardio here? You know? oh, yeah, I think Chris oh, has it. Chris is landing oh, elbows. Oh, oh, this guy's looking oh. for a big, big punch, a counter punch as Chris is just throwing heat on him. Chris is manhandling him a little bit here. Not throwing him around, but he's just better in right. the clinch right here. Ah, oh, stand and get a clean. Chris got a stand and guillotine. He's dropping Chris is uh, oh. wearing him down. Yep, Chris, is, Chris is just going to try to bomb. wear him out. Nice right, nice bomb, bomb, head kick. Bomb. Chris is wearing him out right here. This guy is losing steam. That's it, Chris's baby. volume is That's yeah. it, baby. His ah, cardio. Chris ah, is putting bitch. it to him. Ah, there's ah, there's going to be a finish in this no round right now. No there's going to be a finish in this round. Oh, he's ready to wait it up. Fight's over, Chris. Chris TK's old TK's right against right the cage, man. Right here, man. Wow. Hell of a performance by Chris ah. Martino. Holy wow. shit, ah. Chris. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. wow. So, y'all, hey, don't bet the house. Wow. Damn. Oh, look at Chris. He's like, motherfuckers, man. I'm fucking That's some shit right there. Wow. Talk us through this, Lars. What's your feeling on this, man? You know, that's Chris's best performance in his career. Uh, Ashika Jim is, is no joke. He's beaten some studs in his amateur and professional career. He trains with some killers. Um, and Chris just outlasted him. He just wore him down with volume. You know, um, that second round, Ajim looked totally different than the first round. I think it's because of the volume that, that Mutina was laying on him. You know, it, it wasn't like one huge shot here or there. It was just Two solid shot three. after solid shot. For you know one and a half rounds, and the gym folded, and I, you know I think uh, this is the best one of, his, of Chris Motino's career. This is very impressive. Congratulations, Chris Motino, man. Uh, you know, tra uh, Regiment Training Center helping him out in this training camp, fresh out of COVID. Uh, Chris is a new man, man. Chris, who is um Chris is managed by Tyson Shadi also, Max. I do believe. Top game. That's a great fight, man. Nothing. You cannot take anything away him. from Regime, man. He, he, man, he had his moments in that fight. That fight was his at moment. What do you, listen, why didn't he hit the ground with uh, Chris, man? He had him a little stunned. What do you think was, th what were you thinking there? That, that, you know, that's surprising when you look back on it now. Um, no follows so you, with hammer fist. As you nothing. knocked him down, he didn't even go for like some hammer fist or didn't, didn't want to mess around on the mat. Maybe oh, he no. was overconfident in his striking game. Oh, yeah, dude, man. Um, we talked about Chris, man. You got to kill him to put him out, man. I see. I, I, what I said, I couldn't wait for him to display what he going to do. What he, Two what and oh, imagine tonight. Two man. and oh, baby. I'm right all the time. Dude. <laughs> hey, where's Aaron Hughes tonight? Where's he watching this fight? He probably at work. Does he have a girlfriend now or something? What's yeah, at work? work. He works at night. Yeah. He's not working for the postal service, is he? No. I know he was putting in for that to try to get yeah. there. He was asking me questions look, about look, it. Look. What? Oh, my God. Monsters Inc. guys are back. That is scary fucking shit right there, dude. Why do they... Sh they got to show that just to show that they're doing things correctly. But that's kind of a... Uh, that's scary. <laughs> Watching the white suit guy spraying the cage down. Oh, man. Hey, I'm digging the tent, Lars. I'm digging. I'm digging what I'm seeing here as far as under that tent, my man. What do you, what do you, if there was a crowd there, that would be a great event right now. What do you think? It'd be pretty cool. I, you know, I like it. I, I assume they can't keep holding events in the future underneath the tent, you know, outside. It's, uh, if they're doing fights in November and December, it's going to be a little chilly to do these outside. So 
my assumption is they'll have to get a haul of some sort to keep these going if everything goes off without a hitch. Well, there was some uh, rumors that, you know, they were searching for a venue when they first started uh, looking. And I know Greg uh, Ribs, Greg Ribs Rebello, his gym in Warwick was um, one they were thinking about. I don't know mm -hmm. why it happened. Maybe the commission weren't, weren't satisfied with it. Maybe Ribs has got too much going on as far as running the business there to uh, stop it for something like that. But um, who knows what's going to happen in the next couple of cards before the end of the year, right, Lars? UG. Yeah, I think uh, th they're waiting to make sure this one goes off without a hitch and no one you know, gets COVID and whatnot. And if it goes well, I think they'll have more freedom to, to, to kind of expand a little bit over the next few months. Excellent. Well, we got UG versus Fabio Charenton right now. As we Co -main know, event. Co -main, UG is a 185 pound fighting there. He's four at 205, I think, as an amateur. Uh, but he likes the 185. He is the premier FC 185 pound champ after uh, knocking out Pat Casey at the last premier event to capture that belt. Now he's facing Fabio Charent, who is a 205er, who we have to say did come in at, what, 209, 209 today? What did he come in? He came in heavier this fight. Yeah, he came in at 209, so three pounds over. Which, you know, um, UG is already already fighting at, you know, above his weight class. Uh, what right. do you think about that, man? That's a that's a big advantage right there. You know, it's, it's not a good look for Fabio. It's his second fight in a row. He's missed weight. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but, you know, if he's looking to get back to that next level, uh, you know, organizations like the UFC take, you know, making weight pretty seriously. So I don't know. Uh, does, you know, I can't see Fabio fighting heavyweight, so he's got to figure it out. Yeah. I think it's just, uh, you know, discipline, uh, maybe, uh, 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 a nutrition coach, something. I mean, the dude's a killer. We know he can do it in the cage, man. So he's just gonna find that, you you know that groove and and you know either hire a nutritionist or get his his diet under control because, you know it's gonna hurt him in the long run. I mean, you gotta make weight at these fights. I mean, he's producing, he's killing people in there, but you gotta make weight. All right. Uh, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of being a professional. Uh, one thing I want to say, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Lars, you don't have uh, uh, any sponsors no. there. Well, the, <laughs> I got everything just about. But um, why don't you shout them out? I have my Alpha Bullets here. Jorgen DeCastro is under these guys right here. He's oh. taking some of this power, some of this That's testosterone really boost. They have vitamins. They have pre-workout drinks. I'm sure they're going to be coming out with a protein powder based out of Boston. They have a lot of fighters under them taking this product. Uh, Test Reaper, yeah. right here. Um, yeah, I've been I've been taking it for about a month now, and I take their multivitamin. Derek, the owner over there, is a great dude. One of our sponsors. Uh, he sponsors a lot of fighters as well. He's he trains. He's uh, he's worked hard at this, and so we're you know trying to support his endeavor. They've been around for a few years, and I love the products. Um, you know, if you want to check it out, go on onto our website or put in the code fighters 10 and you get a 10% discount, but I highly recommend it if you're into kind of working out and supplements and whatnot. Every excellent. And you know what? It's just not for people that are like diehard, uh, you know, athletes. It's for guys just trying to, I mean, we have, he has multivitamins. It's for guys and women who just want to maintain a healthy lifestyle. You don't have to be a, a major athlete. You can take walks, man, but uh, you know, you got a testosterone booster. You guys that are a little older, we know how things go yeah, a little bit down the line. You might want to take that because, dude, I'm lifting up bureaus at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a salesman. Yeah. You want me to show you what I can lift? Actually, I'm only kidding. Um, no, no, I'm not. I'm 16 days out of almost a, a, a near fatal fucking death. Man, shit is just starting to work again. That's all I was saying. <laughs> Uh, I <laughs> <laughs> Four beers in. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm going to have you. Right, you're going to be my coach. We, 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 we got Fabio. We got Fabio. Fucking Yugi. Kels is, is my co co host for every fucking fight companion for now on. <laughs> <laughs> let's, what, it is, let's see how much bigger Fabio is than UG when they, yeah. when they get in there. 
This will be telling. And you know what? UG is a, an athlete. And another thing about UG, he's a CPA. So he can do your taxes and kick your ass at the same time. Jesus. Yeah. A very smart individual. Um, talked to Karen from Premier about him uh, when he was going to fight Cat, Pat Casey. As we know, we do manage Pat Casey. Uh, we were, you know, I've been interested in Pat Casey since, you know, his second amateur fight. I knew he was going to do big and big, big things. Um, fought UG, man. It was just, you know, UG's a talent. You know, you got, oh, yeah. fight, fight, fighters get clipped. You know, oh, the fight's already starting. UG yeah. and uh, Fabio, round one. Coming at a traditional stand. Yeah. We know Fabio has all submissions. He has power, but uh, the dude, once he grabs your neck, man, it's it's over. You so you got to watch go. out for that, man. His last fight was at LFA. Was he landed he right? landed a great uh, body to head shot, which uh, set up his his submission in the first round. So here we go. Oh Yuji, shit! He just oh he's got Yuji's neck already. Yuji, oh Yuji's trying. That's to, a wrap. Yeah, this Bye, could be Yuji. a wrapper. He's got Bye, Yuji, Yuji in a standing guillotine right now, and he's holding Bye, his leg. Yuji. Yuji's holding on. Oh, he picked fucking. He's not letting that neck go. Yeah, but he's side control. That's he's not as dangerous right now. He um, yeah, he's all right now. He oh. Yuji just picked up Fabio. That's impressive. And took him <laughs> off his feet and took him down. Fabio was three Fabio's extra holding, pounds than he expected. Fabio's still holding out to the neck. He's going to try to get him in full guard to really um, do something. It looks like UG is just about out of that. He's posturing up a little bit. Now Fabio feels it and notices it, so he's going to try to crawl up the cage, and he's doing it. He's still got that neck of UG. UG's got to um, kind of try to get out of that. You can't let Fabio hold on to that neck and try more options here, man. You've got to break free or or change, change an angle here. Because if Fabio gets a, a hooks in here, I mean, you got to let go of that. Gotta abandon that quick. Fabio's holding. Oh, he picks Fabio up again. He, I don't see danger. Oh, he's let wow. loose. Yeah. So, That's so Fabio around. let go of the the choke, and uh, UG is, uh, you know, just got Fabio against the cage here. Leaning against him, so my God, a little he surprise here. It. He That's it, a strong dude, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, and like I said, UG, nice right knee to the to the midsection of return knee. Yeah, return knee. No, but you no. would think um, Fabio would circle out of this and try to use some of his strength here. You think that missing Wait, weight up. has something to do with his gas tank right here? What do you oh, think, yeah. in Lars? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised that you, UG is able to, I don't know if to call him U or G, so I'll just call him UG. Uh, I'm surprised he's able to control the fight against the cage here. You would think with Fabio's size advantage that he'd be able to kind of dictate where this thing took place, but UG is doing a really good job of uh, you know, positioning really against yeah, the cage. And, and UG's trying to use them legs, trying to get a trip against the cage here, so he's working on a takedown. He's looking to uh, grind. But the thing is, he got underhooks. We call it got overhooks. So that makes it makes a difference. So what's what? Who's who's in a better position right here? Like who? Like right now? Who, who, who's trying to work right what? Now? Oh, Fabio just circled out. Yeah. So is that what you were thinking? Fabio's dude, looking for a circle out. Because dude, um, UG was controlling. Regardless of you against the fence, you trying to go for against you know guillotine, he's still controlling. Nice. Nice oh! hands by Fabio's mixing it up, throwing some nice hands. He caught UG a couple of times there, but UG's back in the pocket right here, looking to trade, and he goes right back against the rushing. cage. He feels confident that he mm -hmm. his gas tank that he can grind Fabio out here. I think, I think he's he gonna can. watch that neck go. I think, I think I think he can too. He's gonna watch that neck, but he's in no danger right here. Fabio's there you in go. One. Fabio's in danger of being taken down again. Oh, they're back up, oh, but Yuji's putting that pressure he on gotta, man. You gotta turn him, circle yeah. out of there, get out of there. I don't think he has the gas. I, I think he, or you know. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's go. Fifty seconds left in the first round. Uh, so far, Yuji is uh, controlling this controlling, fight, man. Controlling the pace, everything. He's taking Fabio down a couple of times. Still looking mm -hmm. for that takedown. Fabio had um, a guillotine, a in, guillotine the in there, but. Um, UG weathered the storm and just stood there and uh, took Fabio down. Actually got 
uh, half guard on him and took him down another time during that. They broke off you, here. You last jab, 25 seconds jab, there. Use the jab. There you go. Use the uh, jab, Fabio. Yeah. Fabio looks good with his hands. He's landed. Yeah, he just got to pressure with the jabs. You can set it up. Use the jabs. Couldn't just throw a two. Come on. Press him. Double up on them jab. Back him up. Yeah, Fabio looks so much bigger than him, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Fabio mixing up with a head kick. End of round one. I got to give that to Yuji, right? 10-9 yeah. round right there. You I'm going to disagree. Huh? I'm going to disagree. Are you, you, you're, giving, you're giving it a 10-9 to Fabio? Yeah, so here's why. Like, right, from a judge's perspective, you need to uh, – the criteria goes effective striking and effective grappling. They're kind of equal. Uh, and then it goes down to cage control. Um, so that you don't take cage control into account unless striking is equal, right? And when you look at the striking game right there in that round, um, Fabio landed the heavier shots. I don't remember – uh, UG landing many shots at all, right? Yeah. I don't think he landed much at all. So from a striking perspective, Fabio landed seven to ten heavy shots that UG ate pretty well. But if the judges are going through the criteria correctly, they should be looking at that striking first. Right. Uh, and they they should give that round to Fabio because UG really didn't do much besides positional advantage, and that's what, not going to win you round when you look at the criteria. Even, the, even that couple of takedowns, even though we didn't do anything with it, that, that kind of like nails it out? Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah, the takedowns are great and all, but you got to do something with it to, to have an effect, you know? Okay. You could say that, you know, UG quote-unquote out-grappled him, but there really wasn't much grappling going on in that round either. Yeah, and I agree. That Fabio definitely busy around the hands, landing more strikes. Um on, man, uh, he's he's at four hundred one boxing with Jose Santos, man, and that helped him out with his LFA win with that big uh, le left, uh, big body left to the body, left to the head. So you know, Fabio, very confident, man. He's just got a. Uh, he's talking him. Yeah, he's you know the gas tank is all we're worried about here, but you know Yuji's not pressuring him like he was before. I think it looks like Yuji scared, kind of scared to do a little engage a little bit. Well, you know, you got a big guy there too, and Yuji kicks, and you know, Yuji's biggest biggest uh, fight was against Pat Casey. He hasn't fought anyone of Pat Casey's caliber. That was the first um, big fight he had. I mean, as an amateur, he didn't fight no big beast, and as a pro, uh, I think he's only three and zero, three and zero, right? Um, Yep. Lost. Three and zero as yeah, a pro. He, I think it was three and zero as uh, an amateur as well. Yeah, he. I mean, tr uh, Pat Casey is the biggest fighter's career, and you can't yeah, take yeah. nothing. Can't take nothing against him for uh, uh, away from him for knocking out Pat Casey. But um, you know, he's got to. He's got to get. He's got to engage more here. He's got to use them hands like he did with Pat. Well, and some would say that stoppage with Pat may have been a little early too. Yeah. Um. You know. So who knows if that fight, if that ref lets the fight go on a little longer. What oh! Happens. Fabio just oh! connected a big one-two left hand. I don't know what exactly it was that dropped him, but Fabio just dropped UG. UG's, wow. UG's back up on his feet, but Fabio, nice, nice hand. Again. He's fine. UG took it like a champ. Yeah. Do it again. Come on, Bob. That straight that that overhand left, that straight left is, you know, dangerous right now. Money. UG's got to watch out Money. for that. You know, like we talked about uh, before the fight, Fabio gets his his weight in order, man. He's going to be in the UFC, no problem. Right. <clears throat> oh, oh. Yeah, uh, your G's Fab looking a little tired. Yeah, yeah he's starting Fab to wilt. Fabio got his win. Fabio doesn't look tired at all. It looks his confidence is up. It looks like he knows he's in control of this fight right now. Go to the body. Oh, nice left hand by Fabio. He Go looks great oh, yeah. on his feet, man. Especially from someone that just came off a big knockout. Um, Fabio's putting it on him right now in the second round. But throw a body kick, bro. Oh! <laughs> oh, 
Right You're here to see, right? You can come over here and say hi. My man just don't knock anything over. We're good. Say hi to the po Hell, folks at home. Here's our camera. Come over here. I never met you. Who, yeah, have I met you? Uh, come on. Met me. Mr. Gonzalez, come over here. Look at this. Look at that. Right there. There you are. Look at this handsome motherfucker right here. <laughs> Were you outside in the parking lot watching Mitch fucking destroy people? <laughs> oh, oh! That's all right. We don't use that. It's a prop. It's not even real. <laughs> so, what were you watching the fight on the way? Like I watching was, fight yeah, pass? I awesome, man. A little bit of a detour, awesome. No fraud. No, no worries. We thought there was going to be like a. Yeah, we hey. thought we thought there was going to be an insta, uh, an in, uh, intermission so we could go smoke some bombers, but it's not happening right now. We're gonna have to wait until the end of the show. Fucking lit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, you're late. You want a shot? There you go, my man. Oh, nice much. catch. See that catch quick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, oh, Thomas Evans watching my man. My man. Thomas on, Evans in that CS cage. Yeah, UG's uh, doing exactly what Almy was doing. That there you go. He's trying now, to stay dude. away. He's, the body. he's tired, man. Not, nothing, yeah. not, not taking anything away from UG. On, he's fighting up a, the body, a weight bro. class, but... Um, yeah, he's getting walked down right now. He's tired. Come on, man. Run the job. Get him to the body. Finish him, bro. Fabio looking for that. Ah, for looking for a knockout. He'll get it. I mean, eventually, if not, he's going to pick him apart the last round. And uh, I don't see anything changing. Come on, bro. Yeah, Yuji's he's tired, man. Look at him. Both of them. Yeah, Fabio is too. I'm going to go take a, a, a urination. Go ahead, I got you. You need the if you need to hit the bathroom, it's down the hall to the left. Something about a component to uh, help me assist in this shop. Right. Alright, alright, I got this. We can't smoke here though, because the fire alarm might like, go off. But we'll do it. Yeah, fuck it. Absolutely. Show it to the crowd. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. The man right here. Well. Is this it right here? Is that it? Yeah. That's it. So hold on. Oh. Take over this shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to the second round. Fabio looked pretty good in the second round. What do you think, Loss? Fabio looked great. I think the difference there is uh, cardio. Fabio's cardio looked a lot better than, than UG's, and he landed a couple of heavy shots and put him on his ass with that straight left. Uh, UG doesn't have an answer for... Fabio's overhand left and straight left right now, and it's landing consistently. And uh, it's a difference. That was a difference in that second round. I got this either one to one, or that could have been a 10 8 round. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's either 10 9 or 10 8. It was a close 10 8. So um, I think Fabio runs away with it here in the third round. Yeah, I got it one. I got it one one myself. I would, I would like to see him throw I mean, more does hooks. The room look like it does excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse totally me, excuse me, dude. You, you're just being loud. Um, I think <laughs> if, he, if he attack the body hey, a little bit more, a oh, little God, bit more leg kicks. Me, I'm sorry. Yes, a little bit more leg kicks, a little bit more body kicks or punches to the body, he'll still have faith. Oh, we're in third round. I forgot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, you almost oh, smashed my hand. Did I just break your fingers? Yeah, you almost, you almost, awesome. You almost Get over it. Get fucking over it. Um, uh, uh, in between the main event, a uh, co-main and the main event, I'm going to play some drums for you. Okay. Just people just let you in on that. I'm going to play some funk in the, mm -hmm. in the room podcast. Can you rap over some of my funk? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Really? Dude, I ain't rapping a long ass. Dude, song, I'm going to get you grooving. I got my boy OC. I get you my, boy OC my, you my boy OC. My boy OC the Grouch. He's coming out. People. You better watch because I'm going to be playing drums in between this fight. So, Fabio, knock this fucking guy out right now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Eugene. He's fucking... I thought he was like from... Yeah, that's it. That's <laughs> it. Back to the neck. Back to the neck. He's on the neck. Like I can't get right it. Now, bro. Just chill looking for that finish, Fabio is. I'm trying to put the bow tie on this bitch ass. Let's go. <laughs> See this? Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey. Actually, John Donnie Jr. signed this. Mm. Not his son. This uh, hat right now, right here, is signed by guy hey, John Gotti Jr. Yeah. You, you never fuck with this muscle milk? Yeah, it's mine. Why you want it? Yeah. You can't have it. 
You already eat my fucking crackers, cheese, and all that shit. I need that. That's like my dinner. I'm high as a motherfucker, bar. Fuck it, guy. And I'm gonna be drinking like that. And I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna be at work, though. I gotta be at work at 3 in the morning. Oh, you? No, I'm only kidding. Dude, I got thrown down. Listen, I got thrown down a highway overpass. Beat the shit out of me. Broke my clavicle, my lower back. Fractured my face. I went to work seven days later. You, you know a, why? You a gangster. Because I yeah. fucking hate being home. Well, well. It's a, yeah, it's merely a scratch, man. So you, so you got your ass little trying to protect the flag, huh? Yeah, well, I was telling them to put it back. I thought they were kids. Like when they were walking over, they were waving the flag. I said, "Put the fucking flags back!" Like so that's because I don't know. If, I haven't heard the full story. Has anyone else heard the full story? He is. I. Uh, it's still yeah. detectives, yeah. but I was trying to stop some dudes from stealing shit in front of my friend's bar when I was leaving. And they were taking the open flags and they were walking down the street with them waiting. So I got out of my car. I said, put the fucking flags back. Like, so I walked up to the first kid. I said, put the fucking flag back. He goes, all right, all right. And he puts a flag back. I turned to the next kid to tell him put the flag back. Next thing I knew, lightning strikes. I woke up on the highway 30 feet down. They threw me, after they beat me up, hit me over the head and everything, they threw me over the highway overpass and I rolled and... Like tumbled, to get him, get him unconscious, off. 30 feet and landed on the high speed, on the breakdown lane of 95. I walked back up after I woke up. I think when I impacted, it woke me back up. I walked back up. I lived two blocks away from the bar. I walked home, kicked my window in because my keys were still in my car, running. Called the cops, the rescue. They came and um, now it's under investigation. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Why didn't yeah. you drive your car back? Uh, my sister, who I own the house with, walked to the bar because the cop said, was he gri- driving such and such a car? Because it's still running on the side <laughs> of the pub. So, yeah, everything was in my car, my wallet, everything. They didn't take anything. They beat the shit out of me. Tried to get rid of my body because I was on a main road. It was 930 at night. Good guy. Yeah. Good guy finished last. Yeah, you got you to gotta understand that, bro. I'm Next gonna, time, ha, ha, have a strap. Do not... I had, I carry a knife on me all the time. You better pull that I didn't have to, out next Listen, time, I fucked up. What happened was the kid put his guard down. I thought he, he's... I'll put the flag down. I thought it was over there. The kid kind of... The next kid must have been a little tougher than this kid. What type of flag it was? It was a... Oh, I'm going to get that flag. It's going to be in here <laughs> yeah. next fucking week, yeah. dude. They threw the flag on me yeah. after, too, motherfuckers. It's probably got my face yeah. infet- imprinted on it. Dude, oh, all I know oh. is I could take a... Oh. I could take a beat. Oh. <laughs> I could take a fucking beat. I could take a... Look at... 16... 16 days ago, I still have the bruises. Oh, my God, bro. Up here. Oh, yeah. Broken things everywhere. Oh my god. That that hey yo, that dude, 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 Turning you all down. Oh. Oh. I need the fucking. I, I, all right, we got the result coming here, homie. 
What's that? Oh, we got the... <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Announce the winner here. Lars, I'm sorry. I got carried away. Cool. That's cool. Chicken dinner. Fabio Charent against UG. Is. What was it, Lars? I couldn't hear it. Of course, a unanimous decision. Fabio, unanimous decision. There was uh, 30-27, 30-26, and 29-28. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I can't find the funk from the other day. Uh, right outside the door. There's like a garbage bag right on uh, top of the box. <coughs> All right. Lee Gresh. Who else is in the... Oh, Sean Lally and Lee Gresh are Fabio's corner. As we know, Sean Lally is really, really great friends with uh, Fabio and did make the trek to LFA with him to be his corner guy. Just a good dude. Yeah, it's a Lally, good friend to have. Yeah, Lally's doing great things too. He opened up his new, his own gym. Um, he's got his online fighting um, classes going on. He's doing great things. I'm I'm very happy for Sean. Uh, retired for the next year, he said. He's focusing on his gym and all that. But uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing Sean around in the local scene at some time. Fabio is getting interviewed right now. What's the dude's name that announces the fights for CES? Oh, Absolutely. Keith Robert. Keith Robert talking about um, the Mutino fight, saying that was a crazy good. It was. It was fight of fucking of um, regional promotions on Fight Pass for the last what couple of months. I've seen that was fucking was a great All the fight. What did he go? Yeah, a round and a half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the halfway through the second round, they got Look, stopped. They got, they got twelve guys in white suits in there. That's scary. As a rat, dude. And then, and then They're probably, probably just spraying water around. It probably look like a dem de 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 demolition man. Right <laughs> it doesn't. Is, is his mic not working? Can you not hear it? Uh, I'm not listening. I, I I don't have sound on here. I just have the fights. Why it's not? Yeah. I'm sure it's. So you can. I'm sure it's you can def recorded for a future uh, for a future release. You know. Yeah, you just can't hear him. You know, when I talked to Jimmy Birchfield about the show, he said, um. They, some of the production was going to be different than normal, and you can tell it's it's a little, it's a little different than they normally do. And well, let me let me uh, ask you something. Like, you know, we could do this stuff. They could call in here, and we could do it. You know, if we stay professional and I keep the beers out of the room next time, you know, they fighters could call in here, and we could, uh, you know, Skype them in right in here. You know yeah, I, mean? I think I think that'd be a cool concept. You know, you catch a guy maybe a half hour after he just won, have him call in. Uh, you know, he's got time to take a shower, get changed, and it's not right after the fight, and uh, chat with him for five minutes. I think it's a cool concept. Excellent. Or if that, if not that, Lars, they can call in after, and I can record, you know, a five-minute chat with them to send out the next day. We could even do that tonight. I could set it up. I might yeah. be slurring yeah. and saying your name wrong, but who, who knows? It's, it's, it's a trial. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get it. All. We'll yeah, get we'll it going get it. next time. We'll get You're it. gonna be right in this seat next fucking fight. So yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll get it all worked out. Hey, no one's heard from Travis tonight. Travis was yeah, I know. He's he alive. Not, he's I'm not, gonna text him there. Yeah, he's not even on our feeds. Yeah, my ear, look at Joe Lowe's on. He yeah, undo he undo he undo All right, how much time we got uh, before the next fight? What do you think? Because Lars, do you want to talk to the crowd while we all run to the bathroom? <laughs> sure, man. I'll talk it out. All right. Uh, do you do you want me? All right. Look at it. They're already out there. All right, lads. Talk to the crowd. We'll be right. We'll watch you. We'll be watching all right. you, brother. All right. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna talk shit about you. It's all, all right, I'm gonna do. I can hear you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, take whatever you need. So we got Nick 
JC Alley. Six and three, taking on <laughs> my, taking on my daughter, Ewan. All right. Give me a minute. <laughs> uh, main event coming up, probably in five or ten minutes here. Um, Nick Alley <laughs> taking on John Gotti the third. Should be a heck of a scrap. Who do you, you think is going to win? Nick or John? Uh, what do you have in your lips? Stop it. John. Okay. You think John's going to win? Yeah. Okay. There's John right there. Do I just record it? Yes. You, please get off the camera. Daddy's busy right now. Can you, the camera. I'm I'm on the camera right now. I, I have to do something. Please let me alone. Let me see if I can just walk here. John Gotti coming in five and zero, oh, training on a Long Island MMA. Has fought all five of his professional fights under CES banner. Uh, they're playing the John Gotti Nick Alley hype video right now, and it looks like these guys definitely got interviewed during their weight cut or during their weigh-ins yesterday because they're both gaunt and, and pretty thin here. Nick Alley from New Hampshire, 6-3 and three on a three-fight winning streak. Um, dangerous fighter, the, the very tough opponent for Gotti. I, I think the way this one will play out, Gotti's path to victory here is to keep keep it standing and bang with him. And uh, Nick's best path to victory is to get the fight to the mat and try to submit him. But uh, I think regardless of what happens here, it's going to be a, it's a great main event. It's, it's a hell of a fight to put on that CES did, especially during these times. So glad it got done. Long Island MMA, 0-1 so far tonight with the Sheikah Jim's loss to Chris Moutinho, which uh, I would say you could argue is up there for fight of the year so far uh, here regionally. Granted, we haven't had a ton of shows this year, but that was a banger. That was a great fight. Chris Moutinho coming back from getting knocked down in the first round, uh, throwing some serious volume at Ashika Jim, and eventually that volume wore him down, and Moutinho was able to get the TKO stoppage halfway through the second round. So, we got the main event coming. Nick Alley training out of Team Link, hooks it, New Hampshire, under Ed Carr. Uh, this will be his 10th professional fight. Uh, toughest fight of his career by far, and then John Gotti. Uh, you know, this would be the toughest challenge of his young career, too. If Gotti wins this fight and does it convincingly, very good chance we'll see him on the Contender Series here towards the end of the year and get a shot with the UFC. Nick Alley coming out with the New England MMA t shirts. Thank you, Nick, representing our website. Love it. Yeah, they reached out to us uh, a couple weeks ago and asked if we wanted to supply some shirts, and they were going to walk out with it, and we said, hell yeah. So we got them over to Ed and team, and there we go. Represent. Ed, Ed Carr looks good in the t-shirt. Looks like there's some confusion before Nick's getting in the cage. Waiting for somebody. Staying warm. It's a big opportunity for Ali. Uh, if he wins this fight, um, I said this the other day, but it looks a lot better to be seven and three than six and four in this sport. And if he wins this fight, it's by far the biggest fight of his career. Uh, positions him nicely to start talking about getting some opportunities at belts on the regional level here. Uh, and if he can string a few more together and get to, uh, you know, nine and three, ten and three, and all of a sudden you're looking at the call from the next level. So. They're still outside the cage waiting. Not sure what they're waiting for. But uh, Nick Alley looks cut, looks in shape, looks lean. 
Uh, I know he was training to fight Marcus Davis at Premier FC, the one that was supposed to happen a couple weeks ago that never got off the ground. So I think he had a training camp kind of already started when he got this offer. I'm not sure what the hell's going on here. They're just... They're all just sitting around. Uh, the cut man was MIA. Huh. The, the the cut man was, uh, I don't know what he was doing, but they were waiting for three or four minutes outside the cage for the cut man to show up. Not sure what happened there. Anyway, he gets uh, greased up. Check for the mouthpiece, mouthpiece, and he's stepping in the cage. So Nick, Nick looks focused, looks in shape. Um, should be a great fight. And walks John Gotti the third. This is uh, by far the biggest. John Gotti the third is by far the biggest star in CES right now. They've built him up uh, since his pro debut. They have a great relationship with him and his family, and uh, he's kid's the real deal, man. Um, you know, initially we all thought, all right, this is just hype because of the name, what's going on here, but he's proven that he's legit. When I talked to Jimmy Birchfield this week, he, he made sure that he emphasized that John Gotti takes this sport seriously. This is all he do. He does. He, he just trains for MMA. He doesn't work. doesn't have another job. Uh, so he uh, he's determined to get to that next level. And with a big win here, um, he's one step closer. John English, the ref for the bout. I guess it's just me. I think Steve did fall in the toilet with four or five other people, so that must be a big toilet. <laughs> but we got this. We got New England MMA on the banner as well. Thanks, Nick, for that. Hey, Lars. Hey, here he is. How'd you get away? How'd you get along with Obi? The fight is starting. I, I was uh, talking to myself for 10 minutes, but you missed uh, our walkout t-shirt and the, uh, the logo on the banner. That's all right. I'll watch the rerun. Oh, I see the logo on the banner right there. There it is. <laughs> awesome. You know I'm going to fucking be... Cutting his pot out and put it on <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, the shirts look nice. Ed's wearing them right now. You can see it right there. <laughs> Drew Jabert said I fell in the toilet. <coughs> Dude, I should have took a drink while I was in there. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, did anything happen in between the, in between the intermission as far as... Did they have like, uh, did they have like a video of uh, John Gotti or anything like that? Yeah, they they had a they had an interview video of both Gotti and Allie, and you can tell that they interviewed him. I assume yesterday at Wayans because they're both gone and super skinny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, what are you doing, to these guys? They're all like, I need a fucking burger. Yeah, they, yeah. Watch it again; it's kind of funny. And then uh, coming into the cage, Nick was just standing outside the cage for like four or five minutes. They were waiting for the Cut Man. They couldn't find the Cut Man. To put grease on them. <laughs> Main event. Yeah, he delayed they're, it. They're, they're fucking with Why'd they go to a commercial when they're going to stare down in the middle of the fucking cage? It's not. This is their, this is their ring card girls. Oh. That's I figured this out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Lars. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Main event. Gotti versus go. Nick Alley. <clears throat> Two big welterweights in there. <laughs> Where'd Kel go? You gone? No, they're still outside uh, just talking. <clears throat> talking about Mitch and Regiment and stuff. Nice. <clears throat> Gotti lands a nice body kick on Nick. Nice movement in there. Nick's throwing, trying to throw in some leg kicks there. Nice leg kick by Gotti. Nice return by Nick with a leg kick. Another leg kick by Nick. 
Nick is trying to hit that lead leg, maybe try to take some of that power out of Gotti's right hand, that dangerous, dangerous right hand. Yep. I think it's a good strategy. Peck away. <laughs> nice kicks by you. Gotti looks like pretty good mixing it up with the kicks and, you know, nice, nice another nice leg kick by Gotti. Nick returns twice and Gotti takes Nick down. Wow. Interesting. Wow. <clears throat> wow. So Gotti is in Nick's butterfly right now. And uh, we'll see what Nick does from the bottom here. Impressive that Gotti goes for a takedown against someone that has basically almost all submissions in his game. Yeah, it's a little surprising, to be honest. <clears throat> no, I mean, I'm not sure if something happened there or he just saw a leg and instinctively took it, but I would assume... Why not stand and trade with Nick right maybe, now? Maybe the, uh, one of those leg kicks he didn't like. I mean, he was returning yeah. leg kicks to Nick also, but um, maybe he knows something. I don't know. Like you said, he's a he's a big dude, man. So he gets on top of you. I mean, unless you're really good on on your back, man, it's hard to get a a, a big dude like that off you. All right. Hey, interesting. God, he took uh, Nick down in the first round. Is it over? No, 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 no. Whoa. They were tra they were trading leg kicks and Gotti went down went in for a takedown. And um he's doing pretty good with it. He's not landing, but he's controlling Nick on his back. Nick's to, Nick Nick needs to get busy. Only he's doing just laying down and holding. He's not doing no damage. No. He's just holding on to him. And Nick's a crafty dude, man. He'll figure something out from the ground, some sweep. But we know we know Gotti's a big dude, man. He did want... wrestle as a you know in high school and stuff like that. So Nick don't want to be putting on the hit list, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a talking to him in the yeah, back. Now, now, I'm listening to him. Listen to this, okay? Okay, you listen to this, okay? <laughs> We're gonna take this fucking fall in a fucking third round, okay? I in gotta say, round. Nick Nick's in a you know. There's no damage happening here. There's not nothing scoring, but Nick's starting to move around a little more on the ground. Uh, Coach Ed must be yelling to him to uh, come on. You gotta, you gotta move. You gotta get up. You gotta try something. A sweep. Oh, Nick tries for a sweep. Get the legs up there for a uh, possible arm bar. So he is creeping up the body, trying to work for something here. We're calling just holding and maintaining. Yeah. A little pitter pat here. I think. There. Maybe Nick should just hold on to him, stalemate, and let him stand him up. Because there's nothing right there. He's got him held up. Double underhooks. He's got him locked down. And God, he's not too active on top. Yeah, Lars, what do you what think here? Do you think they should stand up? Or do you think they should just... I mean, they're, um, they're moving now. No, no. Well, another 30 seconds maybe, but you, you got to let him work. And God, he's yeah. thrown enough right now where yeah, now he, he's active enough. Yeah. And Nick avoided a lot of them uh, strikes from the bottom that when Gotti just postured up and got up a little bit. So, um, yeah, Gotti's a big dude. I see Nick trying to butterfly him, and, and he can't sweep. Well, <clears throat> going to lay him, lay him down there into this round over. Yeah, this round's going to end just like, it, just like this. If, uh, you know, we got 30 seconds left. Gotti's controlling. He's still in Nick's guard. No damage done by either. Gotti hasn't tried to really advance his position. He's kind of content where he is. Nick, uh, Nick, oh, wow, oh, Nick, oh, Nick, oh, Nick oh, going for, he's oh, got that leg over oh. the neck. Possible, you know. Triangle or Omo that, that, that yeah, give up on. A sweep a from there. Right there. But Nick's, Nick's got no damage here. Oh, I mean, he throw, he throw elbows yeah, the Nick's staying a little busier. He's gonna watch out for that, the posture and an elbow. But I mean, we gotta give it to 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 Gotti just because of the the control, on yep. you know. But no damage done by either fight. A couple of leg kicks, no punches really landed. What are you thinking, Lars? Yeah, I'm surprised Gotti took this fight to the ground. You know, I really am. I thought he wanted to stand and bang. It's a little strange, um, you know, because if he comes in and blows Nick out of the water, it's almost a done deal he's getting the call to the contender series you know if he goes and just grinds it out and looks like this for three rounds i don't know they might want him to get another fight or two well he might want to pay his way 
Uh, here's another thing. I mean, Gotti might have tried to um, tie him, tie Nick out a little bit, maybe pick it up in this round and 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 throw them strikes and them heavy hands. Could be, you know, I, I don't think we're going to see Nick Wilt, though. He's not one of those guys. He's in really good shape right now, you can tell. I bet his cardio is on point. So this could come down to, you know, who gasses, who gasses first. And I believe Nick should still keep with them leg kicks and do what he was doing. I don't know, uh, you know, how the takedown, but Nick Nick does get taken down. He, he does win a, a few fights off his back when he gets taken down. So, um... You know, oh, he's mixing it up better right here. He's coming in, Gotti. Gotti throws a nice one-two. Nick, they're locked up. He's strong. He's a strong dude, man. He must work out. Wow, he's trying to take Nick down again. I don't, I don't get this. Did. Oh, Nick tries for a sweep. There you go, Nick. Knee, nice knee. Come on. Oh, Nick tries an elbow. Knee. Oh, Good nice. Scramble, Nick. nice knee. Nick's staying go. busy in the clinch, the man. Oh, oh. this is good, him. man. Nick, keep mixing it up. Him. Don't Put get in the dog for nice movement. Nick ain't even getting in that dog fight. He's just trying to fight from the outside. Look at God. Yeah, rushing. Nick's playing the smart. He's got to be tactical and smart with the strike. Don't get run, in the dog fight, like you said. just rushed in to Look try for another takedown, but didn't shoot. Just rushed in. He He's looking like a little tired, Nick. He's looking like Baptista. Yes. On a, on a Only a hundred pounds less. On a weight loss. Ali's managing the distance really well. Yeah, nice body shot Come by on, Nick. Nick, 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 stay there, man. Don't get Let's in go, that. Nick. Let's go, Nick. Wow, nice fight, go, man. Nick. Whoop his ass, Nick. Nice body shot by Gotti. If it landed, I don't know, but it was nice. Let's go, Nick. I'm gonna pull it for Nick. There you go, Nick. Smart man. He's. Got, I think he should throw leg kicks in there. Throw some leg kicks in there. Uh uh. Go the elbow cut. Gotti going for another takedown. Gotti looks a tired, little fatigued a little, here. A little tired. Nick's got yeah. Nick can't get the taken down here. Loopy. Nick can't let him taken down. He's gotta he's gotta break him a little bit here and not go. let him win that's, that's at this takedown. That's his go to move. Yeah, he's just he a, should be on his head, pushing down on the head. Yeah, because Nick is Nick. There you go, Nick. Throw them elbows in there. There, he didn't like that, so he has to raise his head. Nick. Turn him around. Turn him around, man. Nice knee. Turn him around. Why, why yeah, that's that what he's space? trying to do. All that space. God right is just there. trying to duck his head, man. He looks tired, right man. That elbow right there. Elbow. Nick, elbow. keep doing what you're doing, man. Oh, it's going. Oh, why Nick, don't get. All right, all right, all right. Nick, I think it'll. Oh, toss him off. He's too high. He's too high. Yeah, he is. Nick's going to shake him off. There's a lot of time here, but I. Oh, he had his foot in the fight. Nice, mm -hmm. nice move by the ref. Mm -hmm. Nick, you could shake him off. Stop shaking. Tremble him down. There yeah, you go. Twerk, Tremble twerk, his twerk, 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 twerk. And here, that's good. Nick's got all fours down, so he's not taking all the weight. He's got some uh, leverage there. Yeah. His hand touches that boy flexible. Nick, shake him off, man, or push him. Boy, flexible. Let's go, there you baby. go. He's gonna fall off, Nick. You gotta shake him twerk. off. Twerk, twerk. Try to get. There you go. There you go. Land it. There you go, Nick. Shake that ass. There you go, Nick. Side control. Shake that ass. Stay there. Fuck that. Yeah, Nick. Uh, God, he's got a cut on his head. Beat that ass. God, he's got. There you go. Do the Khabib. Suck them legs in. Suck them fuck. There, there you go. go. There Suck you go. them legs in. I'm going to get shot. Suck them they, fucking they, they legs they in, man. Yeah. Fuck them Suck them legs in. Fuck them dudes. They don't run that Come on. Run shit, Flatten them out. Flat. Put them down, ass, Nick. Homie. Put them down. Flatten them down. Ass, Flatten them down. Flatten down. Make him Let's work go. out of this. Let's go. There you go, Nick. Stay there. Grind him. That's right. Beat him like your dick, Nick. Listen, nothing against Gotti, but Nick is my man, man. Uh, he was my first interview ever. Nick, stay Let's there, go, man. Nick. Stay there and just... Pam will fist me. He, he's... Pam there you go, me. Nick. Wear him out. His mouth guard is going to... He's breathing right heavy. There. Separate elbow. This is a 10-8 round, maybe. Man, he no. Be no, sorry. Right There's still 40 <laughs> seconds left. Come on. All right, 10-9. I'm sorry. It's the bias in me. 
Big Juju starts throwing them elbows from right there. Throw him up. He's definitely staying busier than Gotti did when Gotti was on top of him. So, interesting third round with 1-1 one, one here. Wow. Wow. And I said this interview with Nick last week that he looks like he's in the best shape of his career right now. He's mounted Gotti right now. He's mounted him. That's what I said when you guys were gone. I said Nick looked like in really good shape. Like, you know, he was training for... Marcus Davis before this fight was announced. So, you know, he's been training for a while hard. God, he's laboring. He's tired. Nick was posturing up, landing elbows at the end of that round. Um, holy shit. We're all even. One round apiece. Here we go, Nick. Look at him. Five, right? If I were a betting man, I'd have some money on five. Nick Alley and a live um, bet right now. Ross he looks like Ross, he's a fresher fighter. We got Ross Levine in there telling him about... Ross Levine, as we know, is... um. Uh, a pro, uh, glory. A pr glory fighter under Tyson Chade, mm -hmm. a fucking kid, dude's karate combat, okay. not karate combat, but uh, sports karate dude is legit fucking killer. And uh, he has Nick there helping him with his stand up. Nick's ground game's already there. Mm -hmm. You have him come in, Ross Levine helping you with the striking, and we know that's what Gotti is gonna do, man. What a game plan. Um, holy shit. Lars, going back to that first round with that takedown from uh, Gotti, man, maybe there was something a little, uh, something off a little bit for him to shoot like that. Maybe he's coming to this fight injured. I don't know, because that seemed like a strange game plan, and he doesn't look like he has great cardio right now, and his, his boxing is getting a little sloppy, so... Oh, know, that, oh I believe maybe he's he didn't tied. get full camp in or what he needed to. Uh, Nick just got a small leg kick in and, and kind of yeah, took Gotti got got on the balance. There you go. Yeah, Nick is Grind driving him. in, looking for that takedown. Good again. ride. And putting the same move he did on him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and ah! Nick picks him up. Wow. There you go. Holy there you go. fucking shit. There you go. You know, we're early in this third round, but Gotti doesn't have power to knock Nick out. I mean, the only way he's going to beat Nick is what Nick's doing to Gotti yeah, right. right now, man. Wow, Lars. Yeah, that's Ali's fresh, man. He's cardio. Ash, what did I say? He's going to gas out. first. Ash, he, you know? Our shirt, shirt looks really good right Choke now. Him out. Don't let him turn into you, Nick. Whatever you do. Hold on. Don't let him turn into Bulldog. you. Bulldog. There you go. See, Nick? Nick, there you go. Nick! Oh, Fuck, no, Nick. Nick. Oh, fuck, fuck! Oh, no, look at Nick. Look at Nick. Triangle, Nick, he's getting a triangle. Nick. Look at Nick. Oh, look still. at Nick. I, still. I think... Got him. He's a oh, he's got, got him. a triangle. Got him. Nick's got him in the triangle. God, he doesn't have the got power him. to pick him up. Oh. He doesn't no, have... He does lock that down, Nick. No, he, he needs more of an angle on that. It's, it. it. He's working it. He's going to itch it. that leg over a little more. That's it. He's going to see. Nick, Nick has got inverted Nick triangles got him, yeah, on think. people. There he goes. Yeah. He's sweeping Nick the leg. Nick better haul no. ass after this fight. Because the Invert. Is Hick, go ahead. Put it down, Nick. Lock it go. on. There you go, Nick. Put him out. Let Don't him let him break that, Nick. There you go, Nick. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Nick, you gotta get up, man. Oh my there you God. go. There you go. He doesn't oh, have power oh, to guillotine oh, oh. you. Get Got up, it. Nick. Just get up. Shake him off like last time. Twerk him. Twerk him. Nick, you gotta finish this round strong. Even though you fucking, you gotta get him off you. you oh my him. God! What happened there? He just oh, fell man, he off just him. Split over you. He gonna try to throw the knees at him. Nick, turn into him. Turn into him. There you go. There you there go. You go. Nick. Get that side control, oh, Brady. Yeah, good. get that side. Yes. yes. There he is. Throw them yes. elbows. Nick right side there. control or elbows. half guard. Half guard, man. Nick, stay there. Land them elbows. Throw he them has elbows. no gas left. Throw them balls. No gas Throw left. Throw them balls. Oh, my God, oh, man. He's split open. He, oh, he's he's tired. Oh, Nick, he's don't let... No stay dirty. there, Nick. He no cannot dirty. sweep you there from Let's there. Go, baby. He cannot turn into you. Let's go. Elbows. Stay there. Elbows. Right in the mouthpiece. Elbows. Stay there, Nick. Oh, I had an arm triangle. Uh -oh. Jump over. Uh -oh. <laughs> Jump over, uh -oh. Nick. He's going for uh -oh. that mouth. He's looking for that uh -oh. head and arm. Uh -oh. All right. Don't blow it here. Just stay there and work it. Let's go. 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 Let's
Game there ball. you go. Let's go. Wow. Look at Dave Batista out there. Getting his ass whooped. We gotta put the volume on because you know Nick's gonna fucking give us a shout out. He better win. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, throw them out, throw them balls. Hammer stay fist. there, stay there, Hammer Nick. Fist, Nick, there you go, Nick. Do what you're doing. Do what you do. There you go. There you go. Don't get careless, you Nick. You, you don't need. I know you want to finish this fight, but be smart, man. Hey. Be smart. Be smart. Uh uh. Stay heavy. Yeah. Yep. Stay in heavy. In same position, land some Stay shots, heavy. and the fight's yours. Stay heavy. He's gonna give you his back. Take it. There you go, Nick. Just. Yeah, he's man, he's God, oh God, he's God, he's a beast, man. He is soldier, bro. He's a beast. He come from he come from a whole whole family of beasts. Hey, this yeah, this is a on, this is definitely a learning experience. He needed this fight. He needed a, a tough fight like this. And talking to Nick, he said like Gotti had that last fight where he went the distance. Mm -hmm. The dude took his back, but Gotti withstood it and made it through that that fight. Nick said, if I get in them positions and if I get the control that he had. He's not gonna be able to get out of that. Yeah, Nick not. is Nick is exactly right, man. Fucking hey, man. Yeah, there you go, Allie. There you go. Man. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Allie. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, Allie. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Put it on him at the end, man. Fuck yeah. Fuck right, yeah. Nick. Fuck yeah, yeah Nick. Nick. Fuck, Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, Nick. Where's our shirt? Put your penis in his butt. Fuck him. No, fuck you. You're yeah. going to get me killed. It's probably already fucking bottom in this place. Fucking. <laughs> All right, Nick. Hey, Nick they got Alley. our Smart shirts on. Plan. Look at our shirts. Everyone at home. New England MMA shirts on these boys. Woo. Woo. That was a great fight, man. Third round was anyone's fight, man. What did I say? It came down to cardio. 2 0, Chris Mochi, go. Dallas and Regiment Camp, 2 0. Lars. Back to the drawing board for Gotti. Wow. Yeah, man, you know that. What's this mean for Nick Alley? This means he becomes a legitimate welterweight in New England who should be getting opportunities to win belts. He he deserves a spot on our fucking uh, on our on our uh, rankings. <laughs> in yeah. December too. This will do He's it. Seven three you, now with all. You beat, with... you beat the fifth ranked guy and you're yeah. unranked. Good chance you're gonna find yourself in the rankings. All right, let, let's hear Nick say our name. Hopefully they don't shut. You know they might shut the mic off just because uh, he might mention Domenico. You hating on you? Hey. So let, let, let them... listen, listen. Can I just say one thing to you? Four interviews. With Mitch, one with Mitch, one with Nick Alley, that main event, mm -hmm. great interview, mm -hmm. one with Connor Matthews, one with Fabio. Mm -hmm. We did write-ups, we did weigh-ins, we did breakdowns. I hate to say it, CES did not share one thing of ours. I'm sorry to say, but they're sharing people that don't even live in the in the region. I'm not a hater, but fact is, they're avoiding us, okay? And we got our shirt right in the fucking middle of the main event in the winter, and not one of our fucking things was fucking shared. Right, here we go. Right? Here we go. Nick, blow my name the fuck out of there. And you know what I'll do? I'll cut that piece out I just talked about and share it everywhere. Yeah. Fuck yeah! JC, baby! The first Good job, Nick. I've ever done in my life Nick was with Alley. that fucking kid. 10 8? Would you ask me when I, when I first came in who I, who I got? What'd I say? Alex? Nice shirts. And they're going to be right on the hey, cover of I fucking CES. Hey, Lars. Hey, Lars. They're going to be right on the fucking. They're going to be right on fucking MMA news. Fucking yeah. junkie. I wish Nick was wearing the shirt, though. 
He'll put it on for the interview. Throw that fucking shirt on. Motherfucker. No one wants to see your nipples. Here he is. All right, shut up, everyone. Not a scratch. Kid look awesome. Smart. Speaking of jumping, a win like this can certainly jumpstart your career, as our broadcast partners mentioned earlier. Uh, right now, you got to be on cloud nine, but the future yeah. is bright. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the goal. I mean, I said I wanted to just keep rolling as quick as I could. Best shape of his life right there. Oh, he wants to say hi. Wait. They let, he was going to say it. They shut him right the fuck down. Uh, he was going to say it. It's good enough. I love you, Nick Alley. Yeah, he was trying. He was trying. Let's hear what these guys have to say. Yeah, oh, this is the ad, man. This is it. Wow. Very proud of Nick. He worked hard, man. That's awesome. Good shit. Yeah. What a night, man. What a fucking night. What are you eating now? You <laughs> want? All right, man. I am out. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just about done. Lars, man. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. All right. Um. Let's maybe yep. do something Wednesday. We'll do a recap of the show. We'll have Nick or and some guys call in, some uh, winners of the fight, man. We'll get them Skyped in, and we'll do it right, man. Let's do it, man. All right, man. Love you. Have a good night, All right, man. See you guys. All right. Peace. We out. All right, he's gone. All right, let me put the poster up. Um... Exactly. Gotti's a fucking beast, man. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Something, that first round when he took Nick down, there was either a strategy to try to tire him up, or why would you take a guy down that could fucking triangle you in the third round like that? I think something something might have went wrong. That leg kick. Oh, he's talking about Chris. Yeah, awesome. Um, sit down and let's let's carry us out of there. Come on over here. Come say bye, man of the hour that came in and saved us and got us all stupid. <laughs> Come on, right behind him. Right behind him. Nah, you can step on. I don't give a fuck at this point, man. So who are you anyway? I know you who follow me on you? Facebook. I know you fucking beat people up. Facebook, ben Facebook. Get down. We need to see your face. We've been right? Facebook friends for yeah. quite some time now. But, Put um, your hands down. We need to see his face. And, uh, Listen, no, man. I'm Jeff Gonzalez. Actually, Aaron came, uh, was on a phone call with Gene and talked about um, Gene cornering for me at one point with my main, Kelly. And, uh, Wait, at a smoker? Or at yeah, a, for Wisher. Mm-hmm. Was I at that fight? Mm-hmm. No, uh, unless it, I was only at fights that Aaron fought at.
all that Gillette too? Yeah. You fought at Gillette? So, uh, no, no, no. So the wish, it was a, a wisher smoker. You did, was that you did, at you did, you did fight at Gillette. I did, Probably the yeah, card before the, the one I went he, before. He went to the one with Aaron. Yeah. Which was when right. he fought John, with Jones. Yeah. Right. The kid Jones. Right. Um, anyways, um, he uh, cornered me, so he had talked about that. So I'm like at the lower end of the scale right now, regiment, but working my way up, you know, awesome. making the smokers, making my name, trying to do... What would you start off? You a jiu-jitsu guy? You a hands guy? Um, actually no. So when I was younger, I was over at a PAL for Libby. I was um doing boxing, and then you know after young juvenile, you kind of don't take it too seriously. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't want to train. Then, um, I don't want to do push-ups. And just shit. <laughs> there ended up being another reason why I ended up at, at regiment. Um, and I ended up there over at regiment because of somebody, and it was on like a, a little bit of a beef issue, but. Everything's good, and it, you know you gain a good family. Things happen for a reason, man. For a reason, you are. That's exactly why reason, I walked yeah. into that place. Yeah. And uh, so when I ended up in there, I just I kind of stayed with it. You know, not gonna lie, you slack off a little bit. COVID's hit a, hit, oh, hit a big course. thing. You know, that's that's the pro in my eyes of the pros right now. There ain't really no nothing for me to get my hands wet right there yeah. right now. I'm pushing that way. And here's the thing: no one else is making ground on you either. Right. You know what I mean? Right. No one's going anywhere. Right. It's just so, this is the but time. But I gotta you get make better. myself noticeable. So that's that's the that's the point. It's the opportunity that I can have if I keep going with it. So that's always been a goal in my life. Like I've had certain goals, long term and short term. So short term goal by hit hit a certain age. I'll always train, stay active, like yourself. You're 54 yeah. years old doing jujitsu. You stay as training. Fuck. Getting thrown off but, overpasses. But, you know, I'll stay training, but I know that my time to compete would be now, so that's what I'm trying to do. Excellent. And Excellent. Um, so what's your next... What, what are you looking for? I mean, there, there's not many smokers, but are you looking to uh, make any, any debut somewhere? Or what are you Soon, looking for? but, you know, I gotta... You gotta work that. Work, work into that position to be taken to the next... Miss the regiment. So. You can't get a... Behind the scenes, fucking Fight Club smoker going on here, man. The yeah. fucking shit for him. Man, <laughs> I, man, if I could, I, I know. would. You got, you, yes, sir. <laughs> I understand what's going on. That, is a, that, that gym is is legit on the fucking radar as far as producing right. killers. You, you know, we can't right. hold a smoker there. Right. <laughs> Maybe right. in Brian's backyard. Right. So, yeah, right. so, somewhere, right. somewhere in the river fucking... Right. River fucking uh, have, you know, have, have so people yeah. uh, meet us at Battleship Cove. Something just right in the fucking park. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Fuck man. Not, yeah, Put some man. cones up. Four cones. Here's your ring, but motherfucker. I am happy as a yeah, motherfucker stuff, right man. now, bro. So listen. Uh, next Wednesday night we're gonna do a podcast recap, and you can come on. I don't know if you're gonna be training. But let's get the fucking either get Mitch and fucking Aaron see, down I'm here I'm with I'm us, I'm or have get, him call I'm, on I'm, in. I'm gonna see if I can get the boys down here. All right. Sounds we good. Come out here, turn yeah, up. we'll have like Connor Stop Matthews here. call in or something like that. We'll get all right. it all going. No if doubt. you can't do it, man. No, I know. It doesn't no, matter. No, we're, got, we're gonna do hey, it yo, anyway. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah. Which way do you look? I, I look at this one, right? Okay. Aaron Hughes. <laughs> Sean Regal. <laughs> Mitch. And Chris, if you can make it. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to come around here and just, you know what I'm saying, bless the yeah, minute. Come on down, man. Yeah, man, we're going to come down. We're going to bring Jeff to the left. You heard me. I got two cam. I got four go cameras in here. I can hit everyone. He got four cameras. Yeah, I can hit everybody. everyone. Man. I can have someone so sitting good. outside in the toilet, and I can still fucking film you in this fucking place. But, yeah, yeah some man, bounce. regiment, training uh, yeah, center. regiment, congratulations. Five, six, five, six seven. <laughs> Night <laughs> North Quarry Street, Barbara, Massachusetts. Let me get that, bro. Let me get that. Yeah, right outside the door. Hey, yeah, yeah, keep it on the table. What is it? Is it Fifth snot up. or something? Right, there's a big, big oh, black yeah. bag outside. Fifth floor. <laughs> you come down, man. Look All right, where you go? Oh, I thought you were leaving. All right, yeah. um, are we signing off? What are we doing? No, I, I wouldn't finish. No, we're done. All right, yeah, finish what you're saying. Brian, Tommy, good job. Mitch, you already know. Told him so. You dig? Run the shit. Regiment. Regiment 508, Chris Matinu. And that's it. You know? What a fight, fight of the night right there. I mean, the Gotti and, and Nick was a great fight. Different fight, but in a round and a half, Motina's fight was fight of fucking... The, fight the, 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 the fight, of... fight, fight, fight pass... Post COVID, 
post COVID. Yeah, that man. was the fight, man. Yeah, we gotta get man. Chris Motino down here, dude. We gotta get the yo, whole regiment. Come on, we you gotta gotta get, get, hey, yo, get him the fucking down here. And, and then you know what? And then all, all you can come and see. You can come see us too. Yeah, but it's better in here. We can. They, they're not training for a fight right now. They can hang out. I know, but we you can get you can get everybody in one place at one time. I gotta take my whole. I gotta take my whole world there. Sometimes you gotta do. I've done what that. You don't do. Fuck that shit. All right, we, 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 we out. We'll make it out of way. Uh, last thing. Um, how do we get how, uh, regiment on social media? Oh, regiment training center, Facebook, Instagram. You know what I mean, Kels Minor. Any last words you want to say? Duck down so they can see a handsome face. Everybody, everybody can see. We're over here somewhere. Go to the buck, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> we did right. it again. Hey, from the room podcast. We did it again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we next did week. It again. Next uh, week, I'm five beers in. Obama, fucking whatever else is over here. Um, we out of here. See you next week on uh, a recap of CES 61. Co pilot, Kels, Mina. Yeah. The man. The myth. The man. The, the weigh-ins, man. The, 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 uh, all right, we out. All right, we out of here. All right, give me two minutes, and let me just shut this fucking shit up.